show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Good night, good night, good night to you and you and you. It's real talk on a Friday night. And of course, you know it's Styles FM Radio and the show is Real Talk. If it's your first time joining us, then welcome to Real Talk. This is the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. I'm your one of your hosts, Lady Cleo, and joining me tonight is the resident original host of Real Talk, or the host of Real Talk, Daddy Rude. And of course, you know, I do have two co-hosts by now, right? So, of course, we have Prestige Week on. Other week, we have Daddy Rude. And there are times when Prestige and Shelly hold the show down in our absence as well. So, big ups to everybody who are locked in right now. Yeah, you're locked into Real Talk and to Styles FM. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mookie just tore the place down earlier. Yeah. All right. So we give it to you in real, continue to give it to you in real style tonight. And we go from now on till 12 midnight. So please stick and stay with us and tell a friend to tell a friend that, hey, Real Talk is on Styles FM. Remember, one world, one styles. One styles. One world. And of course, the world listens. All right? So, welcome, Rude. The expensive shirt and all these things. Good night. Yeah, expose me. Suppose, <laughs> suppose me, you want to squeeze it through the No. Uh -uh, uh -uh. And by the way, listeners, you know, we are acknowledging and celebrating, could I say, acknowledging the meaning and the essence of breast cancer awareness. And today is a day where we acknowledge that even in the schools and across Jamaica, right? We acknowledge the fact that breast cancer is actually real. It's an issue that's affecting, that has affected many women and maybe the minority of men, but you do have men who have had breast cancer as well. And we know that there are people who are still who are survivors of the disease and there are those who are still battling so tonight we um of course express condolence to all the families who have lost loved ones due to um breast cancer so tonight i brought my two little bows or my I have a name for this i don't remember the name the x it's not exit name oh god Oh, what a name of the, this thing. The symbol for the, for the cancer awareness. Anyways, I'm going to joke that... It, sorry, not joking with the pin. I'm going to stick it on his clothes. Come, sir. Show that men too ought to be conscious of the seriousness of breast cancer. And so I'm going to put... Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> He said, oh, I wonder why you said, oh. <laughs> Good. And... I was, I was pierced. I had to pierce him, sorry. Mm. Come, um, Cassidy, you're a male. You need to be aware of this as well and show that you're aware. So when you go home tonight, take it off nicely, put it down. I and don't, I, I don't want to feel special. Give him the same treatment. And, and because... We you join up for son? <laughs> and because I'm always on that road side... Yes. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no because, sound. Can't imagine all that No sound, man. Because, you know, catch him. <laughs> oh, you see, because he's always taking that in wood side. He had to get a prick as well. <laughs> so again, we acknowledge this seriousness of this. And please, ladies, gentlemen, don't be afraid to share and to research and share information about breast cancer and remember ladies you can take one hand put behind your head and oh lord feel around the edge of the breast to see if there are any lumps yes and check to see if you feel anything abnormal if there are any sores or if there are you know any skin irritation or peelings and check it out and the other arm is the same thing come down and put up your hand put your hand behind your head Yes, use the other hand and check your breast circular thing around. Not so. Oh, boy. 
Yes. So, it's more a feel of your arm. So, ladies and gentlemen, please remember it's important. Kids also need to test. You know, don't, 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 don't think it's okay that oh, kids are kids and they they can't. You know, succumb to this. Kids can. Teenagers can also develop this disease. And if it is that you eat right, you take care of your bodies, you know, it helps to eliminate. Ladies, don't take no boof and bath in front of man. Yeah, all of that. Just, yeah. Read up, read up and do your research does, on it. What and does boof and bath have to do with yes, the Yes, when you get constant butter bruising, it affects your body cells. I learned a lot today from one of my teachers. Yes. So if like Teachers and staff shared and educated the children about and other staff members too about the seriousness so, and the importance of cautious practices, prevention, what causes the disease, yeah, how it can be treated or prevented, and things like that. So yeah. So, and I'm saying one of the things, you know, when you get some buffum buffum, you say like um butter blood? Yes. Yeah, that affects your body cells. So what about hickey? I mean, I like that neither. Did anybody ask about Icky? No. <laughs> but I guess it's equal. It, it could, I don't know if it's that bad. On, around, on the breasts, around oh, the breasts. Oh, Jesus. No, oh, Jesus. Let's not even... Da, da, de. Oh. Welcome to Real Talk, people. Yeah, welcome to Real Talk and all our friends who are on the social media pages tonight. Yeah, we, we big you up right now. Locked in, locked in, locked in to Stars FM. DG Angel, how are you doing? Get me those social media pages so I can loud up my peeps who, are, who have been watching the shows and who are on the Facebook Live watching. Hello, y'all. Hope you're good out there. All right, so YouTube. You can check us out at Styles FM Radio on Instagram. You can follow us at Styles FM. And remember on Twitter, follow us at Styles FM 961. And tonight's show can be viewed right now on Facebook Live. So check out Styles FM 96.1. Check out the fan page and you can feel free to leave your comments on that medium. All right. And let's go to those on-the-go numbers. If you are in the USA, the on-the-go number is 712-832-2772. In the United Kingdom, it's 033-0606-0944. And if you are in Canada, where Carrie is... <laughs> It's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. All right, so those are those are the on the go numbers, and I want to loud up all our peeps right here in Jamaica. Yeah, I know some of the things are happening here that we don't really like. From cabinet, parliament, come right down to the little ordinary man in the street, and how we relate to each other. Yeah, but you know what? It's just like the simplest, the simplest, the best place to live in terms of feeling airy once you can have peace of mind and comfort it's an airy little island you know yeah man real nice little place to live and raise family and <laughs> yes <laughs> all right so all our yard is if you are to the east to the west the north or the south or even the center yeah we're bringing you up tonight to all our friends in saint mary loud up loud up loud up all our friends in saint anne who are locked in on the facebook live um are those who are able to Take, get us on the dial, 96.1, 0.5, or 0.7. Big ups to you as well. And, of course, we jump across to our friends in St. Thomas. You know, everywhere in St. Thomas, we are big up right now, right? All the St. Thomas peeps, loud up, loud up, loud up to you. And you're large every time. And, of course, our hype fans of stars, you know, special shout-out to you and all our friends up there, my family. Family. Yeah, mommy and the crew up there in white all love you loads. All right? And right here now in Portie, Portland, everywhere in Portland. Give me a place in Portland, quickly. Buff Bay. Buff Bay. Cassidy, somewhere else. Wayne Road. Wayne Road. Huh. 
I'm not a baby. I'm not, me say, pull. <laughs> hey, get, yeah, you can't get me so easy with that. Uh-huh. So everywhere in Portland. We have yeah? to catch you. Uh, no, you never catch me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, of course, over there in St. Mary, I'm not a baby. Yeah. So big up, big up, big up. Taxi drivers, busmen, those in the hospital, those on the street corner, corner selling something, making a little hustle. Uh, good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Oh, we lost the caller. Try again now. Mm-hmm. Those in ho- at home in bed, those getting ready to go to bed, those who are getting ready to go in the bed, those who are watching TV but decide to say, all right, you know what? I watch TV while listening to the radio at the same time. I'm going to start off a TV and going to listen to the radio. <laughs> and those who are just watching the one and a half crazy persons on set right now, Another caller online. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello. Hello? Hi, how are you? You're on air. Hi, how are you doing, Leo? Cleo? I'm fine. Who is this? I'm asleep. Me here, so you call me name. I'm a deep, deep sleep. I like it. Hi. That's good. Miss Kelly, let me tell you something. Good night to you and your listeners. Yes, ma'am. I don't come on your show because I can't stand that rude. Me neither, honey. Me neither. You know, we're not friends. Uh-huh. And the man. And so I try to avoid it. You can't do you can't do a real talk by yourself. I can, you know. Like but guess what? Yourself, like with nobody else in the studio with you? Yeah, I know, but guess what? I really love the man called Ul Jackson. But he only comes oh, here for like Ewell five minutes. Adorable. He's only here for like five minutes. No, Ul is adorable. Oh my god, can I tell you? Hey. Who is in studio with you tonight? Is it UL or Daddy Rude? For now it's UL, honey. But not for very long. Oh my God, UL in that nice pretty pink shirt. Oh yeah, he is. Hi, UL, how are you doing? <laughs> well, go on, put us. You see, when he said put us. Daddy Rude said, yeah. Daddy Rude said put us. No, 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 no. DG. Oh, with, with DG, well, UL says put us with me. <laughs> oh, he does? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He w- he doesn't know how to do his own. I was watching him on live. And you I thought, were right, and he wasn't doing it right, was he? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have breast reach up by my shoulder. Mister, by shoulder and arm. I, and I am. Massa! <laughs> I'm not up on a break, though, but I just want to let you know that I am up and I'm listening. A bright eye and done, done. Oh, Isn't man. Yeah. Isn't that good to wake somebody up to listen to real talk? Hey, we have a pink neck, necklace like that. Is what is that? Yes, man. I'm representing. I'm representing tonight. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit you up when you get off the break. Huh? All right, darling. Uh, lovely hearing from her. I haven't heard her in a while now. Yeah. Really nice to hear her. All right. So it's now 9.30, guys. And the time is brought to us by... VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by... Native Audio Stage and Lighting. I'm excited. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how. Every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Some say that Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya are found in water and that by drinking the water, we can get infected. But that's false. Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya are transmitted through the bite of a mosquito that breathes in stagnant water. Protect yourself and your family. Planning a party? 
club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, it is. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we are going from now on till 12 midnight. So we do have some friends here locked in already. Faithful, faithful servants. I can tell you, listeners and all. And, you know, we have a lot more people who will be locking in later on as we go through the show. I know sometimes different things make you... Checking a little bit later than sometimes. So we understand the system, all right? So Kim Moore in Sunning Hill say he's locked in from now until 12 midnight. I'm not going to know it. <laughs> I like that. All right, so big ups to you to bless up yourself, Mr. Sunning Hill. Lisa in Atlanta, my friend Lisa, my friend and daddy Rose, friend of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, big up yourself, Lisa. Amen. Thank I, you, Carla. I, think, <laughs> I know um, DJ should be I, 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 I don't know about you, but I'm tired to see that dog. <laughs> that dog around his yeah, parent. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. Oh, of, Lord. Annette also locked, locked in from Duck and Field in St. Tom. Is it Duck and Field or Duckens with an S? I know Duck and Field. Duckens. I've heard Duckens growing up. Yeah. And maybe it's really Duckens. I don't know. Which one is it, um, Annette? Tell us. All right. So Lisa locked in. Donald, big up yourself, Donald. Big up yourself, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. Lady Cleo, hold on. Let me see what my friend Donald is saying because Donald, when he's ready, he cuss me. When next time he big me up. So I don't know which one. No. <laughs> Lady Cleo, thought you were still at Wayne Road. So I went there looking for you on Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, Lord, enough love and blessings. Um, they, didn't, they didn't tell you where to find me. <laughs> what if you didn't care some ground provision and something to come for me? What you didn't care, Donald? You didn't care nothing? How does me you going to look for? Your farm? No, me, you didn't have a farm, you know? Oh, you want to reap? I <laughs> saw. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> close. Tear, oh, Lord, close. no more. No more in body so much yeah but you know in the heart you're still there you know yeah man you're still there you're at two places in uh, at the same time yes two places hearts in two places all right kimoy kevoy rather chambers sunning hill saying good night as well gary clocked in mm-hmm and who else we have there let's see the list going down going down going down of course um melissa also locked in my mommy sadie locked in as well althea in long road sexy althea sidia in naples florida yeah and five six one send us your name so we add you to the list all right all right so there we have our peeps locking in remember we do the show just for you all right so we're glad you're locked in and please feel free to partake or full take of the discussion tonight big ups big ups big ups to some peeps overseas who locked in every single time every chance they get they're on set where is dan dan dg's radio husband um she's locked in dan dan so you gotta let her hear your voice is a while when are you dan dan yeah he's on a vacation <laughs> apparently on all right so celia big ups to you yeah always locked in alva williams sir good night to you too and the first lady williams yes good night all right i don't so, wear that necklace 
You don't know it? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. It's attractive. What's the matter with you? What's it's, the matter with you? It's distractive. It cute. I'm gonna like right, that. Right, Cassidy? I'm gonna like that head there. Cassidy more. That mm -hmm. head there is like a principal head. <laughs> Whatever that means. Ah. It looks trick. <laughs> Daddy Rude Chippy too early. You can't make him come in like about 11 o'clock. Please, just make him come in like at 11. Not no. We can't make him manage. Remember, we can't accept WhatsApp calls online. All right, on set. So we can do messages, but do feel free to call us on the local line, 876-453-1444. That's 876-453. Four five three one four four four, and if you're calling from overseas, the number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. Repeat nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. Oh, um, one of the things that I'd like to announce is that uh, we have been getting complaints about the Stars FM radio app. Yeah. A lot of um, from overseas persons, a lot of advertisement. Um, that particular company is a secondary company that uses uses the stream mm -hmm. from our from our official stream provider and okay. they i guess they make their monies off ads which we don't get any of um so they are interrupting quite frequently our um our feed so i've i'm recommending that persons mm -hmm. download the styles fm radio app mm -hmm. right so and it's and it's um an updated app so you can go on to google play mm. and download the styles fm radio app it's cleaner mm -hmm. right and it's the mm -hmm. it's the official app from our stream provider so it's it's direct feed oh okay. right so that's the styles fm radio app download that one please all righty there you have it and three eight seven send us your number and thanks for watching in. Yeah, cool. He's on the Facebook Live connection. My. Big up yourself. And of course, 808, big ups to you as well. Send us those numbers so we can get the names. We can add a face to the a name to the face and vice versa. All right. Um, so many new persons coming in. Lady Grace. Mm, how you doing, pretty mama? Um, how you doing? Apple. Okay, Apple people. Just go to our website and click on the listen now. You get a straight, straight, straight hit feed. You don't need to get an app or anything like that. So just go to stylesfm.com website and, and click on listen now. And you'll get the straight raw feed. No app, no, no, no need to get you to the styles, um, the Apple persons. Okay. All right. So the Apple people taking care of our Apple people can also use, um, I think, iTunes, mm -hmm. Apple people get through on iTunes, tune in, sorry, All on right, tuning radio. So, but just go to go to our website, and you can even save that URL for the for the Apple feed. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have some names coming in here. We have Jamie. Is it Jamie? It's French, I know. Jamie, right? Um, from Bath. Okay. So drop that one in. Cassidy will do that for us. Renardo Crocs. What a piece of nice name you have. Yes, Crocs. That's the shoes, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a shoe, slipper or slippers, whatever. Yeah. yeah, nice. All right. So Crocs. We're gonna be adding Crocs to our list of friends here on Styles FM, <laughs> and of course we do have Renardo as well. Well, Renardo is Crocs, Lord. Um, and of course, Jamie. Jamie. Yes. Some St. Thomas peeps coming in there. Tanisha, good night to you too. Spring Bank. Weird. So you know, Pure like, St. Thomas let locking me ask in. You, how do you know it's not Jaim? Jaim? I don't yeah. think it's Jaim. I think it's Jamie. Could be Jaim. Jaim, Jamie, tell us what your name is. But well, you can't tell me right. Call in, man. Call us under, under <laughs> 876. Um, four, five, three, one, triple four. You All right, and tell us if it's Jamie or Jaim. You want a bet? Yes. What are you willing to lose? I mean, I'm nothing to lose. <laughs> 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 
Correction. I don't have nothing more to lose. Okay. I have a lot to lose, but all right. So, well, she wants to know how her week was. Hmm. Oh. Ah, a week for me was very, very interesting. I'm learning a lot of things. Yeah. Yes, a lot of exciting. You have a thick belt. New discoveries. Good night, caller on the four five three. Welcome to Real Talk. Hello, good night. Is this Jamie? Yes, it is. What's your name, sir? Pronounce your name for Daddy Road, please. <laughs> My name is Jamie. <laughs> I, I, I think it's like a, a little link up. <laughs> where if, 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 I did if, French if in did, school. If we did bet something, you are with a link up and him get part of the winnings, you know? Is your name French, sir? Yes, it's French. Yes, and if you were to put a, a pause between the J and the A and say, je t'aime, then you would get, I love you. Am I correct, yes. sir? Je m'appelle Jamie. Je, oh, je m'appelle Claudine. Je m'appelle Lady Cleo. Okay, good night. Bon nuit, bon nuit, monsieur. Have a good night and keep listening, okay? Yeah. Au revoir. Hey, brethren. <laughs> brethren. Why, why are you unclear? A cusp and styles of them radio. Oh no, I will lose the license. Don't hate, appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it locked and good, to, good to have you on board, why, Jamie. Why you never beep her out and Jamie out? Beep them out, man. Them, all of them profanity. Them, them, listen, listen, listen. Shutem. I have no idea. Not tell me about my mother, my girl. <laughs> Not tell me about my mother. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Keep it locked, Jamie. Keep it locked. Shutem means to shut up. <laughs> That's what I saw my mother tell me. <laughs> Big up to the Black Cobra family. Are we here in another Bay St. Mary? Black Cobra. Cool, mm. no? That's a snake, you know? Yes. Sting hot. Last time I killed I mean, a I've centipede. Never, I've never felt he was small or large or I'm medium. Because really sitting, step on him. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, big up to the Black Cobra crew. Yeah. All right, keep it oh, locked. you've been managing with the, all them lightning and them something, my girl. No, not talk about it. Not talk about it. Send us your name. Um, 437. Of course, I'm telling you. No, it's 437, a new person there. She. Okay. Okay. Oh, Marvin. You change your number. Because <laughs> we don't know that number. All right. All right. All righty. So. <clears throat> Lightning, look here, and I'm very serious now, people. I mean, I lie. This is real talk. And before I lie, I cannot omit. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, I give it to you right now. Seriously? You said thunder? Regular thunder. No, you have thunder and you have thunder. Yeah, so, I'm the thunder. No, true. You have thunder and you have thunder. Mm. Well, I'm the tundra. I, I, I don't mind. What about tundra? Tundra is when you have the vast land with frozen. I think I don't want uh, vehicle named Tundra. That too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the thunder. I'm a little afraid of the thunder. <laughs> because it sounds like judgment. I mean, I lie. If you like that, I come when thunder roll. <laughs> or thunder clap. Whatever them say, do. But you see, the lightning, not even lightning, the lightning them, Mm -hmm. I saw on different, I saw on 21st century lightning a flash. And I like when we are picking the lightning a flash, seriously. Because when me a picking, you know, and lightning did a flash. Me never hear so much people get lit down by, by the lightning pan news. Little fire gash pan light wire and something some my time, yes, and you know, you sound like a story, story, but we don't know, it's like every other day, you know, lightning. <laughs> it is that dreadful. Lightning, a flash, and people just a drop down. And good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, ma'am. How are you? I'm yeah, good. Good night, night. Time. Sound like charm, is so. It's charm? Nope. Oh. No, no it's... not charm. Not charm. Is nope. who it is? Patricia. Patricia, walk on. Saint Thomas. Yes, my love. Cool tonight, sir. You cool? <laughs> that is rule. I'm going like, no, it's you well in the seat. No, just give me a little time. <laughs> that me here, yeah, tell me. <laughs> yeah, you well. Yes. 
I listen to Keep... you here when you get hot. Yes, yes, my love. Keep it locked. Yes. <laughs> All right. Our listeners are up and about. We love that. That's where yes, your so, DJ so, start. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so lightning note of my week. But they you made know, me nervous um, like... A, what, what, all right, you see what I go on that side yeah? is when I work at Westmoreland, me know one name June Rain. Mm -hmm. It's a place where, from it catch one o'clock, you have like a freak storm. So, it, so from them time there, me kind of realize that my phobia for lightning different because mm -hmm. I just know because see them type of lightning, lightning where I go on mm -hmm. here. So, so. You you would just uh, drive and you know see the place was dark up half hour. We were a ton down light and it, it just it just clear up. Oh. What go on yes or no? <laughs> it's like about two weeks now, non-stop. Me never see this before. Wow. Right? And yeah. I like and, and I like yes, boy, you, you have a tropical depression out mm, there and you, exactly. you, you expect certain things. It's like <clears throat> believe me. I'll, I'll slab roof a leak now. <laughs> Whole heap of slab True. roof a leak. Whole heap of yeah, slab roof. No people in a prospect slab roof a leak. I've ever seen when you're in your vehicle. And I mean, you know, not, not, not talking, about, talking about being in the back now, you know, talking about being in the front of the vehicle. Mm. And you just a driver, you just see one something just flash across the, 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 the windscreen. You don't feel like you're dead, you know? You don't feel so? And haven't you ever had an electrified moment in, in a vehicle before? No. <laughs> we never have none. <laughs> we can't take him, you know. He's slowly chipping in, people. Daddy Rule is slowly but surely no, chipping in. Because I asked a question. Me don't like when the lightning flash crosses across the windscreen. It's not a nice sight. It's a dreadful sight. My eyes just, I just cover my head and just put my head, my eyes covered in my, in my hands. Something. Because I just cannot manage it. And worse if I'm outdoor. Me, let me go and run go find some solace somewhere. I am afraid of You're supposed of the to actually get flat. And then becoming about so much fat now, I don't know if the lightning will go strike the fat when I time. And you just... will lose the fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might lose something else to me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you will lose the fat. I'll man. go to Folly or the gym to take then, off the then, fat. Then, you know, I no. don't want no lightning taking off this fat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't believe me? Uh -uh. You gotta strip your ass of soup. No, that sounds dreadful. But on a very serious note, people, but serious. kids, kids <laughs> out there who love to play ball and play rain, what they call rain ball, do. Good old days. Do, me a beggar now. Stop. Nobody go pick no fruit when rain falling. And you see lightning and thunder and all these things. Don't bother with the fruits up them time there. Yeah, no bother with the looting neither looters. Cause you can get struck. Yeah, you can get struck too, you know. No, what okay, is looting? People there's nothing late happening. Night. There's nothing happening right now for looting. It's not a Look looting here. moment. When we say loot, we don't mean big furniture from courts or singer or wherever else. We're talking about small looting too. People loot. Mm. The other day the fire, unfortunately, that that um destroyed uh, one of our little fast food chains. <laughs> Anna Homestead. <Chain>. Piggy. <laughs> yes, that Anna Chain, right? Hey. Or a little piggy place. A gentleman was going up on the wall after, right after the fire while they were doing cooling down, cooling down activity. She, she had to, the fire lady had to pull him off the wall. Where am I going? Eh? Not that, all that rubble and. Uh, and... Parch chicken. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> oh boy, but no, no. I, I, lightning is not a good thing. So take it seriously. Seriously, seriously, all right? Big ups to Lincoln and the baby mother, Lacey. Pick up yourself. Coming from Crocs. <laughs> all right. Big up. All right, so... Hmm. This it, week has know, been tumultuous. Um, why do you always use those big words? You can't, use, you can't use regular words. This week has been hectic. You That's smaller. It kind of have a <laughs> size to it still, you know. But, but also exciting and a learning experience. And it's just very interesting the things you learn every day, every week, every hour. I don't like, like the whole suspense, man. I want them to you. No, no, I'm to me, man. I want them to you this week. I'm just saying every week right, you learn, learn something this week? new. One plus one. Eleven. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But it, it has been a learning experience. Every week, I'm learning something new. Seriously. Learning more and more every week. And I'm going to learn nothing. 
as usual, can you add tough? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna learn. Well, well tough. I've been I for the past couple of weeks I've been um sending to persons in my WhatsApp contact videos of me a cook or pictures of me a cook. I never know that so much people really and truly and truly and truly what? bad my people over their food. <laughs> Right. Look here, when you said one me, I couldn't stand you for your second. <laughs> because I'm just feel, and you then, then his, his rhetoric hey, with yes. the food, people, yes. the things he's saying with his food, he just want us <laughs> pumping with the plate. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All we are talking about me never remember say clear in you know, the group, you know. Yes, man. <laughs> yes. Y'all see when breadfruit just cut up. Yeah. Roasting on or cut up. And then you just see breadfruit all fry. Yeah. And you know, you see when other little ingredients not yet prepared. And then you just see the final product and you say, oh God, you start all salivate same time. You start running water, you must start running water same time. You say, oh God, but I eat some no for true. You ever had sardine then, fritters before? Which one? Sardine fritters. Oh yeah. That's what I did this morning. Oh, cool. But we never Thank you, Miss J, for teaching me that. I never knew it before. Yeah. Nice. I'll teach you that. It's nice. My mommy? No. Oh. So you ever made it before? Yes. And it's come out good? Great. You sure? I learned from the best. Could it have been better? It was good. No, man. I'm asking you. Well. Boss, we don't know. It was good. And I, you have to ask somebody who ate it how great it was. But I think it was very, very good. Okay. Your, yes. fir your first attempt? Yeah, the first attempt was very good. But one of the days, now, what catch me now is like, never really check to see if. Enough egg was there. You don't need more than one. Hold on, man. Me to put enough sardine, like about two tuna sardine. Okay. So I'm going check now one egg and I, and I find star. Yeah. I mean, I said, boy, I'm going to know if it is going to come out the way. I, I, there was something else wrong with it. And I think me going to make a mistake and put a little flour in it. No, flour for going out. No, no flour not going on my own. No star. Me never like it with the flour. Serious? Me no make it back with no more flour. Mm -mm. You, you did, you put too much. Boy, I mean, you know what, but me never like that one there. But what I really do is you beat up the egg so it gets as much air as possible. You know, your whisking process gives it, traps the air in it, right? You know that. Yeah, you didn't know that. Okay. Hey, girl. So when you beat it up and well, you whisk it up, the more air you trap in it, the lighter your product becomes. My girl. So. Let me tell you, on, let me tell you something about soul food. <clears throat> Tell about soul food. <laughs> All of them something they want to bother with a party. <laughs> Where does I do a while ago? As, 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 as some, as some French, some French cooking. Soul food, you're not know, bother with them. There's something they get in, in all of them, the kind of little science behind it. It's easy. Let's go. Whoop, 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 no, whoop, man. Whoop. You, you just mash egg. You fling in egg in oh, a thing Jesus. and you just mix up egg with things. So, what are you talking about? Welcome to the show, Daddy Road. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Oh God, he's rolled out in full force now. People, we have all that becks, thoughts, sir. Becks, I have becks. a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hi, good night. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I'm here listening to the road menu, them. Uh huh. Yeah. Tell him to try the chicken muscle flippers. Okay, I must try that one too. Yes. That's yeah, man. Nice. Okay, I should try that one. Have you tried the sardine one? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep it locked, keep it locked. All okay. right, so... What do what, what you even put up all um, banana fritters, people, becks? And you know what they burn them to? <laughs> A turn bread fruit. Lisa said chop. Let's see what Lisa said. No, me, me, I me, 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 me and Lisa come to a little truce earlier oh, today. Earlier? You know? oh, yeah, okay. where the food thing is concerned. Concern, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Me make, a, me make a commitment, you know? Well, you're going to leave our dog alone, she say. Leave, our, <laughs> leave me. Leave me alone. Okay. That's the dog's name? Yes, Mia. It's cute. Dog, <laughs> dog no name Mia. <laughs> Lisa's dog's name is Mia. <laughs> Dog name. So me supposed to come here. No, come you here. say come here. Mia, where are you? Come here. You must be mad. <laughs> oh, Callaloo Fritters. I never tried that. Them, come puppy. <laughs> 
I'm come sure puppy. That's not, that's not all Lisa call me. <laughs> well, when you invite me, yard, yeah. Lisa, please when call Lisa us and tell us how you call me, years, please. 15 years from now when Leah invite Real me, yard, yeah. me say, come puppy. <laughs> right, me make you know from now, so make up your mind if you want to go to 30 years from now. Oh, Lord have <laughs> mercy. Kalalu Fritter, though. Um, I'm trying to imagine that one. Mm. The rascal people. Oh, hold on. Correction, my God. Lisa's dog's name is Mia. I'll have last name Mon 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 Montague Mon or Montique. Mon Montique. Montique. Uh, what is it, Lisa? Oh, that is mercy. Lisa, I stress my dear. Montague. <laughs> Mia. I'm Montague. Mia Montague, yes. I invite you both. I will be coming, honey. 15 years from now, you know. No, it's one year time I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Mia Montague, wow. Isn't that M&M? &M? Cute. I think it's really cute. I don't think so. Hmm. Dog a dog. Hmm. Come puppy. I say not dog. I mean, what? What? Hey, listen, oh Cassidy. Lord. Some post text set by my lawn. As you usual. Know, you know what? I gonna reach them now. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Lord help Daddy Road. <laughs> text oh set. Oh my God. Listen to me, Cassidy. <laughs> at the only place missing my baby will go and he will crawl up and down and feel good. And post text set in there. Mm. So when I have to do, what I have to do? Hmm. Protect life and property. I hear you, sir. Then suppose the baby got take up, it, 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 it something, and things a boy. Oh gosh! You know oh, I mean? hallelujah! No, no, we gotta call her again. What should I do? <laughs> call her on the four five three. Welcome to Real Talk. Well, every day I listen to Daddy Rude. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <I> Donald. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daddy Rudy, you don't want to remember the parliament just passed by line. You understand? <laughs> Which one of them? No, you don't want them all. You understand? Oh, no, but Donald, be, really and truly, who said them dumb? They can't talk. <laughs> who said them can't? Hold on. Have you ever spoken to a dog before? Dog, look, 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 I always ask the question, who say the animal them dumb? Why? Papa, what do you mean? I want to tell them that the people are going to call dog for a run side. Then all kind of sitting are going on with dog. Oh, look at me and Montague. Oh, EJR. That the dog looks like one like a ginal. Me and me. Mia Montague. I'm Mia. Mia, M I A. They need to go live in Los Angeles. Then Atlanta, then Atlanta dog, and a foreign dog, you know. Yeah, man. They need to go live in Europe. With with and, pink roses in her hair. Oh. Oh uh, Jesus. So cute. I want one of those. Uh, yeah, please. Did right now. Did you bring me a puppy? Um, at wait to um at Wayne Road, Donald. By any chance? One dog in my yard in a man. Eh? One dog I have in my yard. And it's what? And it's me. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, man. It's the one dog in my yard. We, yeah, that's right. we are up on the 10 o'clock break, Donald. So keep it locked and call us back later, all right? Yeah, man. Enjoy. All right. You too, my dear. Sure. And those who are listening out there, Lady Cleo needs a yeah, pretty yeah. puppy. Yeah. <laughs> The time Lady is now 10 o'clock. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And, and Real, Real Talk, Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Good day driver, you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer, we just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town at Ramtula's Hardware experience 
experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtilla Supercenter and Hardware. Opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtillasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Don't miss the adrenaline rush. With the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> digital tea. Our brain. Uh-huh. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car? or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160 advertising style advertise with styles Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Mm, welcome back to Real Talk. <laughs> People, I must tell you, this has got to be the ultimately best offset conversation in a long, long time. Oh, my chest bit about me. Seriously. I mean, as stitches and all these things. Oh, boy. Why? <laughs> I can't tell them why. <laughs> oh, my have stitches with you. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, welcome back to the show. And, of course, our friends on the so, um, WhatsApp connection telling us a whole lot of very interesting recipes. Steam the color loop first and then mix up in you know, your flour. Flour, too? With your stuff and spices. Yeah. Flour and color loop. Ooh. Oh, it's like a batter. Okay, cool. And then you put it in. I guess they could, they could put some fish into that too, right? A little bit of soft fish and stuff. All right, Mr. Chef Renardo, or should I say Chef Crocs? Crocs. Yes. All right. <sighs> Who? Lisa, Lisa, do I beg you, take, go easy with me. Lisa says, Daddy Rude, my dog is registered you know, and microchipped. You know, I'm a look for the dog. Lisa's dog is registered and micro. Chipped. You know, I look for the oh, dog whoa. and look like something, something where, where you can actually <gasps> kind of skin and oh. cook down. Da-da. I leave it to Lisa. I uh, just leave this like one a, in Lisa's uh, hands. Like like and just add little hot water up and rub off little oh. skin off him and it comes a bam and got him, oh. cook him up, curry or something. Oh, I'm not going to even go there with him tonight. I'm going to change this subject. Me again, you know. it, Give me the pig's tail, please. The tail part. No, give me the yeah. pig's tail. Yeah, man. They're not, man. You're not going to do anything. I'm going to just change this recipe thing with him, right? Because he's just giving me a, uh, a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> that dog thing. <laughs> um, what's your take, though? And I want my listeners to be engaged a little bit, too. What's your take on the, the proposal that owners of dogs that attack people 
injure them, kill them, mm. that they be held criminally liable or responsible. All right. Um, don't tell me you don't agree with that statement. No, man. No, let me go. Let me go before b- before before we reach um, the crime. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's talk about the risk involved, the liability of such that would be um, that an owner has to mm-hmm. absorb. Right. By the fact that you have one of these dogs. Mm -hmm. Let's go before that to the breeding of these dogs. Let's go before that to the advertising for sale of these dogs on our um, print media. Mm -hmm. Right. (coughs) Let's go before that and and know whether or not these dogs are, in our opinion, how would you regulate Mm -hmm. ownership of these kinds of dogs? Because... Um, the whole dog business, I would just say dog rearing, is now come, come like a fashion statement. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody wants to have one dog a walk. Mm-hmm. Whether, Quote unquote, big breed. Whether mere, mm-hmm. right? Or, come, or, or puppy, mm-hmm. or Rex. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to have one dog. Mm-hmm. Now, we have to understand how animals function. And people think about a dog is just a pet and oh, him nah do you know, him nah, him only a bark, him nah bite you. Mm-hmm. They I don't are, believe in that. saying that. Him nah no, 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 bite him and it's a bark. Now, canine and train canine. Let me show you something. I know of a situation where a virgin tell me, say, he might have three dogs. Mm-hmm. Train for three specific reasons. Mm-hmm. One dog would be to restrict your movement. Mm-hmm. This is based on, on this is for intruders, no, you know. Right. Restrict your movement. <coughs> right. Another dog would attack you, and is trained to break body parts. Mm-hmm. And the third dog, depending on the type of threat, is trained to kill. Mm-hmm. Now, this is how a particular individual decides to him or protect for him property. Situation like that, is it the trainer that will now be managing these dogs? No. What are the risks involved? Is it that every time the trainer or the owner will be there dealing with these dogs, managing these dogs? No. What about the visitor? We go there with a two, three year old, four year old curious child. Like animals. Hold on. Hold on. Stick up in. And I get where you're going and where you're coming from. But it still boils down to the level of responsibility that comes with possessing these quality kinds of dogs, despite what you're training your dog for, despite what it is that, the type of dog that you have. Mm. If it is that you as... I'm going to disagree with you now. Hold on. That's fine. But if it is that you decide that you're going to have one dog for whatever purpose, yeah. or three dogs, yeah? And you know that you're going to be entertaining, say, visitors at home. You're going to have a, a family get together. The dog might not be familiar with, familiar with everybody who might be coming to this event, for example. No, you need to find ways and means to hold on. protect, hold on, give me a second. secure the dog no, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a from second, being able to hold attack on. people. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. But not real. That's why I said before we reach this, you know. Mm-hmm. There needs to be strict Regu- regulatory I agree with that part. legislations. I agree with that part. Because I'll, uh, remember, I know, I say, it's big business. Right? A long time we hear a pit bull illegal, mm-hmm. but there was never no truth to it. But there must have been something that would have said maybe these dogs ought to be made illegal. That never happened. Remember, you have Doberman back in the days, German mm-hmm. Shepherd and Rottweiler, I know. And what they call All Station. I mean, they never know what dog named All Station. Rottweiler. Right? You know, have them the dog there. Them they but them not debout. You know, I said no Doberman again. <laughs> you hardly as a German Shepherd. You see a man I walk with a ratty 
and a pit bull. Yeah. Right? Are you find a crossbreed between a German Shepherd and a yeah. Rottweiler? Now, what may I get at is, uh, we all know, say, from where a little pit, the little mongrel dog them, and loose dog them, where they write out a portal oh to the square. Oh I, was about, I was about 17 Last dogs. Last night, I well, saw about 20, seriously. All right, right to the right portal to the square. Scotia there, so exactly. Oh, my God. See, me see them since night. Crazy. Now, what are the regulatory, what, are the, what, what kind of um, management we have for them dogs? I suppose one of them there, dogs, there they break, to be break loose because and bite they're up. street dogs. And bite up anybody. See? Now... We are talking about the Rottweiler, the pit bull them. From the little mongrel when named Mia to the one named Jeremit. Mia is Jeremy, no mongrel. Right? Jeremy. Right? Say Jer no, no, no. Say Jeremy. Listen, dog. <laughs> right? We So cute. That, that, them, they are US. We I are love about, puppies well, like We are talking about Jamaica. They're Zin? cute. We're carrying the dog them, and, but, the, but the regulation no afford to protect we as normal citizens against the dog. Look then. at her football bone. Or in, his In a matter, I still bone. dog. He's right? so cute. No, you, you know what? I was listening to a radio program. And one of them, um, what do you call them? Animal rights, man, they say, based off of what exists now, there is no such dog as a pit bull. So I what? Oh, God. I don't so, like that one. Him look dangerous. Pitbull, right. me alone can control him. Name Cobra. Cobra. Oh, Jesus. See it? No, that may I tell you. No, like Cobra that, eyes them. Cobra eyes are not dangerous. That, that is what? That is, that is what persons have, you know. My dog supposed to rub. You have bull mastic. We have one next terrible dog that. Now, when me I walk my picnic <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Lisa says all I thought. <laughs> Please. Mia is not a mongrel. She <laughs> is a York poo. Okay, then. <laughs> it's a dog a dog. No, what I'm saying is that before we reach criminally prosecuting an owner, hmm. what is there to regulate who and who can own what and what? Think about this. How can you have smuddy, right, with one dog like them dog there? Right? With full bridge and alone can control and the yard no fence. That's my point. That's where my point comes from. Right? That's no what I'm kennel, saying. no fencing, that, no that's nothing. What, that's why I say, where the regulation there. Right? For, for whole people respond. You can't say, boy, oh, if your dog bite up smuddy. When a man comes to have him dog, a man comes to have him dog, and he move, him live in a rent house, him get him notice, and he move to a next environment, environment with him dog. Right? The yard no fence, the landlord no fence the yard. See? But rude. What is well, not, what is protecting the neighbor? And I it may assure you say we we we, 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 we reach But the, the regulations are needless to say if you're well, gonna up, if you're gonna hold reach, people liable, we there reach, must be regulations we, we, put in place. We reach the last part and we not deal with the no, first no, no, no. part. But for we, me we it's a given. Me, for me, like it's I, a given because no, you and I know given. no you and I know it's that there will be the law and people will still break that law. But there will be regulations but, in but place. Where I'd like to see listen. I don't know the law, but what we're debating now is that them say whether or not yeah, you ask should be whether criminally. We're criminally liable. And I think right? they should. And I'm saying, before we reach the charge a man, why are we not in the first place so that him not get charged, make it very difficult for them can have ownership of those animals? I agree with right? you. So at that moment, but we about. know that in every society, and especially ours, there are Look going here. to be leap, um, loop, loopholes. They're going to come in just the same. So if they Listen even up. do come in, no, but are you, okay, we're going well, to put on all them that comes in well, illegally. No, listen, listen. We're not reach this yet. What a situation now? Where say a lot of persons are breeding these dogs. Mm -hmm. People are buying them. Is it an open market or is it a black market? Is really? a free market. Now, what I'm saying to you, is there regulation restricting but can we the regulate ownership that? of these dogs? Can we regulate the breeding process? Can we? Well, I know. But remember, I know, if you have a particular breed of dog, there must be certain expertise required. Right? And ex see me how them have protection for the crocodile, them, and protection for all kind of animals. Right now, you know, to all the things that, you know, what the protection for humans? against these beasts. Clearly. There, there is more protection for the animal than you know, that for us. So, so since, so since, and, but then the dog so, can't so account since, for himself. Well, I'm going to show you something. Zane, you see, apart from that, 
You see, apart from that, you see the neighbor them have a dog on the yard full of mess. <laughs> now, but the feast of the smell and the fly them turn over four in the yard alone, you know. So we have more things we talk about than, 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 the, than, the, than the, um, the dog we are biting with the next dog. The environment, the I, unhealthy I, I environment. I don't mind them biting up well, each know, other. The it's level, not us well, humans. My dog, my, my uh, people say, oh, my dog clean. But him not, he might not mess in a your yard, but you walk him out the door. I mean, mess up in a somebody else's yard. And land. they don't clean it up. And they're not cleaning up. So that's why I say, before we reach this up, we have a nasty people them, with a nasty dog them. So the dog nasty and wicked. And the owner, the owner them nasty and wicked. So before we reach death, so we say, boy, who for dog bite up smuddy and him prosecute smuddy because of that the liability. Make we go back to the go, go to even more basic than that. The responsibility, how you gonna regulate, regulate the ownership of such dog. True. Because when your pit say, oh, I want a puppy, and the daddy go buy one rat while and one pit bull come. Cause they might do it. I want a puppy. I want a poodle. Right? They might do it. A responsibility come with that just like we have a picnic. Remember, you know? Let me tell you something. They or say, a Yorkish they, 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 they say dog, a man best friend, <coughs> man a dog slave. Because the dog can't nothing for himself. You have to feed that, you have to be a that. And you walk for your dog. Yeah, some smart dogs, you know. Right. I've never seen some smart dogs. They got training and they're very smarter than me and you. Yeah, me say? No, no, no. No side <laughs> with no dog. No side <laughs> with no dog. Listen. No, I've um, seen some smart dogs. Woman um, done call with dog already. So me no one get... Listen. That's a whole different story because Man, someone... Man, a dog picture. slave. Me, 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 people say, oh boy, I'm tired like dog. I said, my girl, tired like dog. What dog do all day? Sit down, sleep. Niam, and you tired like dog? What do you mean by that? <laughs> that means you, you never did that do nothing. This is a kiss me teacher. Right? Man a dog slave. Everything you have to do for that. But you know... What may I do with that? You know, as it, as it relates to the, the, the types of dogs that you just mentioned and whether they should be you know, legalized or if it's, if it's a black market situation that, where they're coming into the country. Um, one of the things that I realized with a lot of Jamaicans, and I've had this discussion with friends... My first, um, my first music video with CG... And Pitbull did it tonight. I mean, can't tell you, sir. You're nervous. But the train line around the background, there's a down the road. You did nervous. Right? The dog a puppy. And so the owner, I feel restrain the dog. Mm. Because we have to shoot and cut, shoot and cut. I can't tell you this. When he's done, mm. you know, every time we, we break, he have to chain him and, and him, one eye man, I just a tremble so to he's tired. Mm. The chain itself wrap around him, and I can't tell you. Like, oh, no, look, look up that music what? video, the Tin Mackerel and White Rice. It's a long time, all of them are foreign. When I name Tin Mackerel and White Rice, go look it up on YouTube. When we see the dog. But, but one of the things that we do here, we don't do, is, um, or what, what that we do, we train the dogs to say, um, attack. And we train them to defend the property or anybody coming to the yard or whatever. They attack them and they, you know. But do people who own these breed dogs train them how to be calm and to subtle and to resist maybe, attacking some maybe people? Maybe they, they do. don't. But as far as the me, average, as far as I'm concerned, average person just teaches them as far as I'm aggression, concerned, give them ganja tea if you and know, all these crazy if things. If you own certain kind of dog, right? We're vicious. Mm -hmm. You have vicious intention. So me see it. Because you know, all right, what kind of environment are we, are we in then? I say you don't have man with a gunman and blah, blah. What kind of environment we're in? We make a man live in a certain, certain place have a certain type of dog. But the same way a man has a weapon to protect himself is the same way another person might get a dog to protect himself. Tell you something, my girl. And his property, Look no? Look here, the amount of ways where we can lose a life right now, you better holler with us, walk up and down and on a weapon. Because something will take away. Yeah, but in the same, in the, I agree. But at the same time, there are people who feel safer having their big, bad, quote unquote, dog around to protect them. Well, I guess I've seen it like with, with people at Texas, if they walk up and down with them, gun exposed. God forbid. Yeah, so I'm saying if it is that we're going to be training, and it's just a regulation again, if you train the dog to be able when to attack Cobra, and defend Cobra, yourself, Cobra, then you ought to train him to be calm as well. Um, Look here. Oh the, Lord. See it. Like can we eat me no. Then the dog is an normal dog. Mother of Cobra. She looked tired. Tired? <laughs> That's Look a what? Here. Pitbull? That's a pit bull. Right? They always let them ready to eat. Their mother are always open them, and drooling. Oh no, man, them cut them ears and you know, it have to look vicious, you know. Oh. The see? ears are cut? Yeah man, them cut them ears. Why though? 
a, a part of the whole um, masculine look. Yeah, and then if if them a fight too, you don't have nothing to grip so easy. Oh, oh God, I don't want no lily water, lily water from the dog all over my place. I'm sorry. Listen, what me I say is just a responsible ownership, right? Enough people may not think, in my opinion, ready. It's just, it's just like a lot of persons not ready to be parents. I the see me with animals. Animals are going to require even more care in certain instances. If you sell some of the dogs, them come to Jamaica, right? Or oh, them treat them. They want one dog, and when the, the, the dog full of mange. Uh-huh. Right? The dog, they not groom up the dog. No, no nails, no cut on them, something there. Certain dog never make for you, I treated my mongrel one time, like, really good. I bought him real, real shampoo. Hey. Me did have real, two, real me, expensive me, me, shampoo. Yes. Me have me have two puppy one time, two of them cross um um cross with um German German Shepherd and Rottweiler for about two months, right? Me for go buy bag feeding, cook this, cook that. Yeah. Me say no sir. I got get, real real food for my dog. Get up a morning time, time Cassidy, and, and walk the yard. You so fat and nice. Oh, get up a yard a morning and time, sexy. Cassidy, Cassidy, and walk yard. I look for dog. My best. dog was wrong. I say yo, no nah, man. Got nice bedding. Boy, be Vivian boy never come here for this. Nice bed. Dog, like dog, dog, dog there, yeah, the whole year me going to work. And come home for walk up and down and clean up dog mess. And me for wipe my own things. What dog do for me? <laughs> you must be mad. Cast me for get rid of two of them, man. Me give them away. Put them the said box the said box when we have them in as puppy two months later alone them. I know them someone bigger. who gave the dog what do you call it? A a a a, a walk out drive out. And left and left him. Yeah. I never do it so still. Me never remember how I get the dog. I give the two dogs them, Cassidy. Give the two dogs them. None oh, tall. Me don't have nothing for them dog. But my opinion still, as far as me say, the owner has to be held responsible. Providing accountable. they give. Right? Has to be held accountable. Definitely. Right? Even if, the, in my opinion, even if the person did a jeer the dog, if the dog not depend on him own a property, mm-hmm. and if there's no risk, that means the dog has to be properly trained, you know. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. If, if there's no evident risk to the land, our property, our life, the owner must be liable. It happens so often. We think of joking when dog bite people. Mm-mm. And when you walk up and down, and you drop one box, a tin mackerel and grandma's own, and say you're wicked. <laughs> they say you're wicked, no Cassidy. And all the whole district of dog wipe out. Then all the whole district of dog for wipe out. Zane, <laughs> right off, yes, sir. You drop a box, yes, sir, no Cassidy. Right at your yard gate, and the whole district of dog wipe out. That means that the people have not keep them dog in their the yard. No. Warm to the man with the goat. The farmer with the goat. And the dog near him. When the man goes to the man and says, Yo, bossy, your dog. Then kill me goat. No, no so my dog don't left here. The man said, right, and the man will spice up the goat meat. <laughs> About 50 dogs dead in a district. All for the man oh dog my dead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I said, what do you mean, dog don't left here? Oh, God. So we have, to, we have to strike a balance. We have to strike a balance. Real talk. Nardo. Renardo. I would not come near that dog even if my life depended on it. When I always ask me if I, would, if I would go near the dog, me, go near that cobra, you must be mad. <laughs> no, sir. And you could have tie up, chain up, kennel up, whatever up. Hey, I'm not going near that dog. Crack, straight up. Me look good on the dog and you're, and you're a pit bull that look like they're mixed with crocodile. <laughs> straight up. I saw a mean dog you got right there, sir, brother. Hey, right now. They turn on hey, their Cassidy. old masters, you know. They Cassidy. turn on their masters too. Yes. Delete them picture there. Then go down and attack with you. Yeah, for true. Delete them photo there, Cass. I'm afraid. I would not go near that dog. I swear to so you. 7418 there. It's, it's difficult. 7418 about a boy, kill all pit bull. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why? I'm not agree with that one there still. <laughs> Listen. As some vicious animal, them. Bull massive, vicious. A old pa dog, and what they are saying, you know, is that based off of the, the genetic makeup of those dogs, mm-hmm. um, the different breed that are types of animals that make these dogs come to who they are, developing a dog in the whole experimental process. Mm-hmm. At some point in time, instinctively, the behavior of the animal or, or the breed of animal where it makes from, I will come out. Mm-hmm. Something, unfortunately, 
my trigger that behavior. Just like all you. Me? Yeah. Why me? Something when you say that's easy and I go on now. Something might happen later on in the night and you just go so BAM! We see you around, of course. In a matter, something <laughs> trigger it. Something trigger it. Uh, so the genetic makeup. Me can give you him chain and tell him sit and him sit. Me no care. Me no go near him. No <laughs> you could have been sitting only come more, me no business. That dog has a mind of his own. No matter how you train him, there are times when they go against their training. And this girl ain't going near that dog, not with a long stick, Marvin says. Cleo, what about Jeremy? Would you like one like that? Oh, Jeremy, look again. Let, look me, see, let me see Jeremy again. Oh, let me see. Look oh, here. yes, Marvin. That's yes, the dog I That's the dog. Want. Look here. Let me tell you something about them dog there. Je- let me tell you something about them dog there. Right? Look here. Where are you talking about me, Jeremy? I well, love I Jeremy. What do you, what do you, what do you, look at those well, eyes. Look those eyes. Oh. What day when me when when Cass, when we depend vacation what day? Which one is that? I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, 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 oh Jeremy? Yeah, Jeremy's what? Dog. Breed. No, it's not no, just dog. Dog. Dog a mongrel. Dog dog. D A A G. Listen. One dog like that. <laughs> Zin, Cass, me have Nezayan in my hand. Zin, baby. And the dog then I had a back. You so like him. Zane, That's cute. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Go for your grandma's when we take a sip. <laughs> Listen. Oh my goodness. Me feel so any dog will bark off a picnic. Wicked. He wants to play. You can't turn there. Any dog will bark off a picnic. Is... Wicked. No, he wants, he's saying, bring him come. Bring him come for me, I mean. Remember, he says, you said that they, they, think they, 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 they can't communicate. He's communicating with you. Are you dumb for true? No, that he's matter, saying, no? hey, Nesaya. Come over here, let's play. I mean, I said, step, step forward now if you're bad. <laughs> Call on the nine on the four five three. Welcome to Real Talk. Real Talk, man. I'm Daddy Hood. You? Center Mark, man. Where's the general? You know, this is a dark thing, they don't know with them, you know. You know, you're not with them, no? No, man, we used about 30, we used about 30 years ago one night. Eh? They lose what? For 30 head of goat? One night. Oh my god. They just put them through and get them. Oh my I'm god. Fine. And what kind of dog? What kind of dog is this? Let me know where they come from. Oh Jesus. So what to the dog after that? I don't think they're going to beat them, man. They're going to beat them? Hold on, I'm going to hear what they're going to say. I'm going to feed them. Oh, you, oh, you, <laughs> 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 you're going to fix them up. Eh? You're going to fix them up. No, he just fed them. You're to feed them. Oh. He feed them because they were hungry. So he fed them. And all is well after that, no? Last feed that they get, man. <laughs> we're going to feed break here. <laughs> what do they get, fat man? And, 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 and dead, man. Irresponsible ownership, my dad. Man, I don't feel dog. Oh, yeah. God. You said I don't feel dog, do it? Yeah, so I don't feel them in the yard. Oh. Okay. They're going to want to have a sponge with one of them, man. Sponge? They're going to have a sponge man, with the meat, man, and, and give them, man. So, <laughs> hold on. Carl, walk off the break. Come on, know how that go here. Right. Oh Lord, the time is now 10.30 guys, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting, stick around. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. 
your Saturday morning start to the right way. It's all about the jump start with Chungi, the Chinaman on your radio. From 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's all about fights from the start to the finish. We're more in a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi then, come listen to Jump Start on Stars FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. AC, AC. Jump Start Saturdays, 6 to 9 a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Oh gosh. Renato, stop killing me. Welcome back to Real Talk. <laughs> Renato, please. Hey. No, sir. Uh-uh. Buck up that back in the days, you know, you can't oh, tell, no, tell nobody to say I'm rolling calf, yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, listen. Me personally never have an, have an encounter with no, with no dog yet. But me have neighbors who live down the road where me really and truly, when I walk on my youth over the weekend, me really have to look good to see if one dog like that in our yard without fence. And all the dog are looking at bark. I may say, you're there for your yard, me there on the road. <laughs> and that may tell you know. So you want to eat. Right? You're me, me, me not there at your place. Mm. You. If you train properly, you're not supposed to see me as a threat. Mm-hmm. Me I walk with a baby. Okay. Right? And your dirty dog. Not train properly. I go see me and my picnic near walk and bark at us and with the pan the road. As a matter of fact, we don't, have, we don't even need to walk on the sidewalk mm-hmm. with the pan the road and the dog the weir on the back of the yard. Right? No, I see that as a cruel dog. A cruel, 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 cruel piece of animal. And maybe the owner feel good in himself in his yard and say, yeah, my dog will defend my yard, but I'm not in your yard, brother. <laughs> I'm not in your yard. Real talk. And I them something that I talk about. When people have all them posts. And they let go them posts. They're right now they're in my yard. <laughs> but you posts are going to walk on my wall. Come on my yard. Come defecate. That road? Meet Betsy. Me work with a name there. Betsy. You want to see the animal first, please? Me, me like that dog. If the dog have, have, have regular name, Betsy. But, but they are they, they, they a pretty name oh. dog then. I want to see Betsy's face. See? I'm mean, I, I mean, I sure you say, you have some evil creature out there. See? <laughs> and I eat with take for joke. Some, some, some people think of some... Eh. We have a caller on the 453. Hello, caller. Hello. Yeah. Let me tell you, sir. Let me go to the man. man's hand up in the dog. About six dogs, you know? Eh. And the man's hand up in the dog. Because when I go up, when I go to the goat, then... Come on, the dog then works here. I mean, watch them where they are. Yeah. I see that go go, go through the fence and run out of the yard. Let me go to the man. That's why the dog now blood up, you know? Then blood up. The man kind of feel the dog them and warm, like he want to come and bother to me. Mm-mm. Too many, too many want to bother him to me. Me just feel out the dog. Mm. So. Because too many want to bother me out. But he just fed up. So you have your dog, the dog must be protected. And secured from hurting other people, definitely, and their property. Real talk. The place must be secure before you have dog. True, true, true. 
Forget your have the dark one, you know. True, I man. What them do the thing? You know, liable to see They must start holding them liable too, the ones who have the straight dark on the road and say it's not for them, dog. Yes. Any time you have that, that's it, when you do. And you make a time straight and yard, you know. Yep, straight up. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know what you so all the sponge work. What kind of sponge? Special sponge? Regular sponge. Ah, uh, never sponge. It's sponge you what we know about. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> That's the you know, dog I want. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Look how Bessie cross her ten. Oh, look here. I like those shaggy ones. Know pan, know Nobody has a dog but, like that to give away. But me, me hear all people are come talk about um to my daughter about if she don't want puppy and this and that. Yeah, but, but, cute, you have cute puppies, you know. But she know she she know They're quite so well. And I want a male one. You hear? She know she know quite well. I just want one more child. Let me ask that question. Fly a pitch for your food yet? Stop it. I ask you a question. No. Fly never pitch for your food yet. I don't remember. You ever talk and fly pitch all on your lip yet? I don't remember. <laughs> 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 Where did the fly there come from? Da da eh? I don't want cobra. Not at all. I'm right? sorry. You keep cobra right where you have him right now. You see? No cobra around here. Where do you think the dog there come from? Uh, um, the flyer come from? No. I can't, Im- I can't imagine. Fresh off or something. Jesus. Oh. Right? So you can imagine your neighbor, oh, have, your, your neighbor to your left have dog, your neighbor to your right have dog. Zane, the yard them smell funky. Oh. Here comes a boom and you eat all your banana fritters. <laughs> right? Oh boy. Fly ever pitch up on all your bread yet and you try to broke off your can bread. Can we have the box pop? Well, on a man, fly <laughs> ever pitch on your bread yet and you broke off your bread. You say I'm a jerky with pink, you know, for right? you know, listen to me, you know. Cassidy. Fly over pitch for your bread and you broke off your bread yet? Yes, once you see the front. You don't broke off, you know, I'm saying, Cassidy? Yeah, I broke off. If you don't see the different story. Oh, so you broke off the part? Yeah, if, if it's worse if I one big fly. All right, you broke off the part where you feel say, I just alone in pitch. And you have the rest. I know, see, Art no leap. Art no leap. All right, fair enough. <laughs> but just in, but see, but just in mere fact, say, your neighbor have dog. Oh, right? And the fly, bo- and the fly forward, fresh off or something. Fox pop man. <laughs> pitch up on your lip. Because today one fly pitch pop me and work for sure. <laughs> 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 we have a caller on the 453. We have a caller on the 954. We invite you to call back. That looks like Dan Dan sort of. Caller on the 954. We anticipate your return call. All right. Uh, let's see now. What's our Vox pop for tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Parental guidance versus generation gap. Yeah. Based on the influence of social media, do you believe that parents still have full control of their child's development or is it a lost battle? Who do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators? We have a caller on the 954. Let's hold that thought. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yeah, good night, Claire. This is Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Um, What's up? Okay, then to that question that Daddy Root just asked about mm-hmm. the fly. Mm-hmm. Hey, the worst thing about Daddy Root is right, <laughs> at, right as the fly pitch by your mouth, at the end time you choose to lick your lips. Oh, <laughs> Marvin! <laughs> Marvin, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm telling hey. you, I swear. It's a reflex you know, action. That, uh, it's just that hot still enough. It reflex clear. Mm. And you will love the coffee, yeah, lip clear. Look at your lick lip right now. Yeah, because the first, uh, as, as soon as you're ready, if you lick your lip, that's the time you choose to compete right on your lip. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marvin, that's you're, bad, bad, Marvin, bad. after me, you run yeah. out on that road and jump into Vox Pop. <laughs> you kill me, Marvin. You kill but, me. Now, with the dark situation, um, <laughs> I, I, I understand what, 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 you know, with that, the whole dark situation. Because as a dark owner, you're supposed to, a dog is like a child. You have to make sure everything is set. You can't just have your dog running all over the place like that. You understand? 
Mm-hmm. And my dog, my little dog we have, is an inside dog. That dog don't go to that series. Because, number one, in potty train and all of that stuff. So, we have a specific area in the room with a, with a little thing where whenever I need to go to the bathroom, you can go and it and go to the bathroom. Oh, that's a smart and dog! I, 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 yeah, with a, with a, that dog is not an outside dog. We don't let that dog go outside to play on nothing. You understand? And even if he was an outside dog, we know we have a responsibility that we wouldn't have that dog just roaming all over the place. And, and you know what I mean? A lot of times you see dogs roaming the street. You don't know who dog it is. Mm-hmm. Dog rush you. You know what I mean? Bite you up and stuff. You don't know who to talk about that. The dog straight away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that, that, that whole thing. Like, I just can't have a dog and know that. The dog, especially if you know that it's a bad dog and you know what I mean, you know, have a fence up or the dog and chain up or anything like that. And mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, mean, I agree with that whole thing. You know what I mean? You're supposed to chain, chain up the dog, especially if you have a bad dog. You know, they love to bite people and terrorize people, animals and all and stuff. Them, you know what I mean? Your dog's supposed to be well secure. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. Respect Marvin, Marvin, big up. If you want, if you want, if you want me can't send a man like a dog, man. You gonna send me the dog or the picture? Yeah, post them in a FedEx can come here. <laughs> yes, because he's potty trained. I love that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know. Y- All right. Y- you know, even though the dog potty trained, you have to still clean up, right? Yeah, I can. And let me ask I a can question. Do that. Let me ask a question. When you go to the bathroom and defecate, you have to wipe your bottom? Yeah. You have a swan dog bottom wipe it? Yes, he rubbed it on, on somewhere. So give him tissue in there to rub it on. Rub, rub, rub it which part? On the mat in the house? No, you put him in a special place for him to rub it. And put the tissue on the thing for him to rub it. You put some plastic thing, like a stick plastic No, people don't have thing. that. Right? I can improvise. I want Marvin's so, dog. So, 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 so you tell me so every time one dog. Me, me, look here. The ongo, I can't go wipe the, his butt if the, I wanna. The ongo, no? the ongo time I see dog, I draw them but I'm going to win the worm take them. <laughs> right? So I don't know where you are talking about. <laughs> Let's get back to the Vox Pop, guys. Sure. So we go again. Parental guidance versus generation gap. Based on the influences of social media, do you believe that parents still have full, operative word being full, control of their children's development, or is it a lost battle? Hmm. Who do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators? And part three, do you think millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed the generational freedom their predecessors enjoyed <laughs> big talk caller on the four five three good night caller welcome to real talk good night um Cleo. yes um daddy root i talk about dog and wife in back um, <laughs> may get a day's work with one lady one time up about the time yes and the lady have two big dogs and the dog never have them one bathroom. Oh. And then we figure out child it, then get in them, draw them, then lift up, set them out, lift up the tile it lid. What? Use them, yes, use them tile it. And dry it and flush it. Do all the chain and flush it. What? And, then, and you know something? When we go there, we go do the day's work, you know. They, they, they left sugar and water, sugar and lime and crackers to, to me lunch. And let me see bully beef. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. You cook bully beef and what? Bully beef and rice to the dog. <laughs> oh, God. When she give me that now, by the time when she look, you see me I go down through the gate. And she call me back. And beg me because the place is well want to clean up. And me come back and she call me and say, all right, all right. Meat in the fridge, anything you want, you can eat it. You know? <laughs> but sugar and water and crackers for me, you know. Mm-mm. Put bully beef and rice to the bag. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lord have his mercy. I have two big man dogs. I have been at the house and I have them one bathroom. When they're ready, they're going to use them bathroom. Jesus. When they're going to be there, they're going to land down the chain and then dry the chain and turn on the shower. 
and, and the shower and the water come down from them and wet them up and, and something. Yes, I did train them that way. Jesus deliver me. Yes, yes one lady, um, um, one, one Dr. McNeil, and one sister, the dog, some dog, yes. They go, they go, go work with them. But what kind of dog was it? Yeah, eh? What kind of dog were they? Big, one of those big breed dogs? Yeah, it was some big breed dog, two man dog. So, yeah. so did they, did you feel afraid of them? No, I did not. I did not. Because maybe how she trained them. Yeah. yeah so they have their own bedroom too? I, yeah, 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 man. They have their one bedroom. Box. They have their one bedroom downstairs. Out downstairs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For man. their room bigger than fear room? Oh, me? Me never sleep there. Yeah. Me and go for the day's work. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, man. And you know, dog is good, you know, because one time one man. Got in bush and then threaten and then kill him in bush. And I did that come home from call the wife. Oh, and, wow. Yes. Yeah, four dogs, the man got a bush with. Two stayed there with the dead body and two come home. Oh, gosh. I love yeah. them. I told you they're cute and, and, and smart. And the wife then did and he said, them are running and are run out and a ball are running and a Calling her to come. Yeah. yeah. I love dogs. They're, they're sensible. Yeah. He alert people and then go and go find the man. And at the said dog, they make them because you know when they stop me, they crowd at the day now. Yes. And the same people who do the hack in at the crowd. Oh gosh. And the dog just go in at the crowd and grab and find one. Find oh them. god, a dog like that so, I want. Yes. Yeah, man. From Nobody from has a dog out there like that can give me. The best dog to have is mongrel. <laughs> <Most> <laughs> But mongrel, some of them lazy. Yes. They see you coming in your ear. Yes. And they're not biting yes. one bit. Some of them lazy. And you know me not say, me see my sister. My sister did have one dog, you know, and she got rid of it. And then the dog go with her. And she in the water and the dog sit down for the bank. In. And she go down under the water and die. And hold up in hand and say, hey, hey, hey. And you know, said the dog jump in at the water. Oh, Jesus. And hold on for her hand and a jar, you know. I took her out, sing her down, she had down. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I want a dog like that, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, and man. And we can't swim. You know, you train them, man. You train them, you know, then can't train. And train. And I've seen videos where dogs do some crazy stunts from just being trained. Yeah, but we know, um, you know, for years, we don't know about them, a big old dog, we sit, sit bull and... All them something there. We never know about them dogs. I just see you the mongrel we know about. Oh boy. All right, my darling, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Very enlightening experience yeah. there. Um Hey, Daddy Root. Oi. <laughs> Mr. Me, I want to story for you because you last week but me now you're on credit. <laughs> and I tell you this story now. This man <laughs> Me and his wife, me have one little bit of short penis. Jesus, I will live on my soul. <laughs> no, this is a bad route, you know, not for you. All right, <laughs> make it quiet. So every time now, him and his wife are going to do something, the woman cough and he jump out. <laughs> Go and tell him friend. So the friend, all right. So the friend come the night and him the husband now go under the bed. <laughs> go under the bed now and my man did that go and he didn't think, man. When my, my lady cough, so my lady, when my lady cough, my man sink the clutch. Under <laughs> 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 the road. Oi. And when he start feel the pressure, he start twist and turn and a grunt. He had the husband under the bed now. Mm-hmm, cough out that no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're bad, you're bad. You're bad. <laughs> so like, what that you can kind of joke with you? <laughs> when you first I take the man, when my man starts to fly pressure, man, in that, oh, that gun, you're going to have a bit. Mm-hmm, cough out that. Cough out that. <laughs> <laughs> you're bad tonight, you know that? <laughs> All right, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh God, I'm oh, a bad listener tonight. Lisa says, "Lady, go to your bed." I say, "Your friend." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lisa, you're something else too. Rambo, where have you been? Mongrel teeth. Oh my goodness. Look here now. If I follow one of these dogs towards night and I don't get to my box pop, you know. Can I have the box pop? Now we have closed out of the discussion about dogs. And what we should do with the dogs when they bite others. Okay, guys? We are now on our box Sponge them. pop for tonight. You so with, You agree with that one? Sponge them? Um, to each his own. So when a dog does something to me that I don't think he should do, mm. I'll decide whether I'm, well, I'm going to clothe him, sponge him, give him a nice bath or not. Okay. <laughs> Parental guidance versus generation gap. Based on the influence of social media, do you believe that parents still have full control of their children's development or is it a lost battle? Hmm. I believe that parents should have full control, but they don't. I think a lot of the control they have given are left up to the social media. So as it relates to this advanced technology era that we're living in and the internet age, parents, are, and I'm speaking generally now, parents have just gotten, I don't know if it's lazy or tired or frustrated or they can't keep up, but they have, many of them have given over their children subconsciously to the era of technological advancement that we're in. And what, and what I mean by that is you find that the children, their minds and their actions, thought, action, is governed predominantly by what they see on the social media. Hmm. No longer are parents seeing it, deeming it fit or necessary to teach and to impart certain principles and values and morale to this to their children they are leaving it to us i don't know if it's society they're depending on to do it for them and that's a whole nother kettle of fish that is uh, can be a very negatively influ influential um, avenue for your kids but i think parents have just laid back is it because we're having younger parents these days than back then when you had older parents who were ready to be parents. I don't know. I don't know where it spills from, but I think the parents have lost most of their control. There are some exceptions given, um, mark you, who despite where advancement in technology is, the children understand that this is the kind of mother I have or this is the kind of father I have. This is the value system that my mom and my dad stand for. Therefore, I know that even though I have these influences out there, I can't go beyond a certain point because the mother, and I'm sure uh, Moeni is one of those children, and Nezaya, no doubt, will be one of those children where there are just certain principles that you just have to be governed by. Your parents set certain standards, certain rules, certain expectations. You have to live by them. I'm sure I can remember an example with Mo where you were at the dinner table, and I think Mo, you said, wanted... To either not eat mm. and we'll go watch TV, something like that, yeah? And upon in tablet. Yeah, the pan tablet. And yeah, and you as a father would have insisted that look, this is what you're going to do. So despite what the picnic, and, and I'm not saying you're having you're having your children in a in a stiff jacket parents. That's not what we're saying. But there are the certain times when they know that it's time for this, time for dinner, or time for dinner, time to eat your dinner, it's time to eat your dinner. And when it's time for you to be on your tab, it's time to be on your tab. Moini can't go in and even time I watch TV, she feel her mind and just go down, just put down book and put on bag and just step and t watch TV straight. No, she can't do that. There are parents younger than, uh, children younger than Moini, who just do whatever they want to do. And they go in and their tabs, the tablets or the laptops or whatever, all they do is games. Hmm. The slowest of children in school, <laughs> Yeah? Nothing educational is on them. And for those who have it on them, they don't monitor the children, ensure that they do something educational on them. They just load them up. Because they're putting it quiet when they have a tablet, so let them stay with the tablet, yeah? Because they not bother me. And not give me no trouble. Yes. Call a good night. Yeah, my guy, guy. Yes. Yes. A hundred years ago. Tell mom, turn off your radio. Turn off your radio. What 
Is your is hold on, is your radio off? Yeah man, it's off. Yes, go ahead. What was the age group of people having children a hundred years ago? I am not sure of the stats for a hundred years ago, but I know in every era, in it every young man. for every generation, you would have yes, young people having children too. That's my not that's not exclusive to our time alone. My grandmother died in the nineties, right? Yeah. And she had 18 children. Mm -hmm. And she had her first child when she was 12. Yes. Yeah, that's right. We're seeing 13 year olds with children now. And if you ask a lot of them old people, them back then, they were having children 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between them times then and them kind of now? Technology. <laughs> there is a difference. No, no, there is a difference. Parents have been losing. Parents are losing, it, man. We're coming. Parents are losing. Donna. Parents think, oh, my grandmother is too hard for me. My mother is too hard for me. So I'm going to take it easy with you, then. Yes, but they're losing it. Then they realize that all of the youth them were were grew up these days. I grew up in a whole area, a physical area myself. My mother was a, a trick. This is the area. We have to go to church every Sunday. But yet you might give it another other church. True. Exactly, but as I'm saying, it's different. The parenting skills, even though they were young, then were different because by that time, you'd have had the, 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 the mother taking over from that child who was 15 and rearing the child properly then. Yeah, man, but the lab, you know, the whole, the, the whole breakdown of the system. You have laws, you know, where I tell parents that you can't talk to your sister than to have. Yes, that's that's a factor. And, and it comes back it, it comes back to technological era as well because so many new laws have been made and rules and the 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 growth of um developing con or developed countries come up with these rules and these expectations for parents and you find that first world countries just Loose. Yes, and going along with these quote unquote new norms. It goes back to the people who we always are talking about. But then people are evil. So because them evil, they push all of the evilness in the era of people who know how to grow them children, who know the right and such a moral standard to put them together. But yet, still because they want a breakdown in a certain sector. Yeah. They allow and come up with laws and regulations that allow to break down a certain sector. You understand? Mm-hmm. You have no problem with, with, with parenting, man. There's enough young people these days that grow them fitness good. No matter the TV, no matter the, 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 the tablets, no matter what. They go back, they go right back to the moral standing that they, they grew up by. But more and more younger people are end up ending up with children too. So the generation gap no, 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 and the advancements. Younger people are end up with their children, man. Pardon me? Younger people are end up with children over 100 years now. Young people have been having children over 100 years. Yes, but I'm saying, Donna, with the advent of technology, each, each generation it gets worse and worse. Because there are so many other influences out there. And it's evil when them white people are come come tell black people over go them big man. Oh. All right, yeah, we hear you. Right back down to that. Yeah, call, call about Donald. Eleven o'clock here. It's Eleven o'clock. All right, cool. Let's break. Yes, the, the time, time is now. brought to us by VJ, VJ Printing, Printing Services. Services and Real Talk is a sponsor. Na Native Audio Stage and Lighting is a sponsor of Real Talk. It's eleven o'clock. We soon come. Thank you.
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio, we have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune in. Tune in. Good morning, teacher. Love time. The Edge, your love with a love song. All happening. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shock up to the fame. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA. 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Giles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you know, we go with you until 12. So we are, we are at the Vox Pop for tonight. All right. And uh, let me just reread it for those persons who might not have heard it the first time, first two times. Parental guidance versus generation gap. Based on the influences of social media. Do you believe that parents still have full control of their children's development? Or is it a lost battle? Who do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators? Do you think millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed the generational freedom their predecessors enjoyed? Very, very deep Vox Pop idea tonight. Um, so we are on the very first part of it, whether it's parental guidance versus generation gap. Boy, that is a battle, because parental guidance is something that most parents will tell you they never master. Uh, at the same time, those who are really struggling through with getting it right will also tell you that, boy, I did the best I can or I could, but the generation that we are living in or living with or among is the problem. So it's, it's, it's a de the debate is ongoing. Yes, Daddy Road? Very much ongoing. Well, um, 
We have a caller on the four five three. Yes, caller, good night. Good night, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rule. Hi, how you doing? Big up. I'm doing good. All right. Go right ahead in your uh, comment. Uh, I just want to make a comment. I think the parents have a lot to do with children. I agree. How you grow them. Yes. What to teach them. How you speak to them. First, yeah. parents have to have respect for their children. Right. You don't go about telling children all kind of words because they will in turn tell you back it. Yes. I don't care. I had five children really kill. Two boys and um, three girls. Okay. And I'm to know they are living where I am. Nobody move out. Everybody have their children. My children never go to street. And all their big women and big men, they don't go to dance, they don't go to show, they don't drink, they don't smoke. Just from work to home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. The other day, my neighbor said to me, said, Miss Marcia, I just like how you grow your children. They don't go to neighbor's yard. They don't go anywhere. And, you know, they don't put their play, you know, but they don't go out on the street and play. You yeah, understand? So it has to do a lot with parents. Mm -hmm. understand? Parents must know what to talk to the children and how to grow your children. You teach them respect and manners. You're going on the road with somebody. Good morning, good evening. If you do something on the road and somebody talks to you, you don't talk back to them. Whether they are right or wrong, they are big people. Mm -hmm. You understand? But you have some parents telling your children, when you go to the road and people do your things, tell them this and tell them that. No, hmm. it don't go like that. Mm. In our days when we are going home and we go out on the street and do anything, anybody could talk to us and we can't go home and tell our parents. Mm. You understand? Do, little kill, I think in those days they say it was advantage with adults, but I think some of those things are supposed to come back. Mm -hmm. understand. My last daughter, she's 33 years of age and she's still living where I am. Mm -hmm. understand. Children, his parents make children go out the way. Sometimes, Remember yes. me tell you that, little kill. You understand? It's how you teach the children, how you grow them up, what to tell them. You understand? True. Parents need to get back to the whole time days. Mm -hmm. Not to murder your children, mm -hmm. not abuse your children. You understand? But talk to I never beat my children. The only child that I beat is my son because he don't have any manners. No matter what he he don't have any manners. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I have my girls and I never beat them. And they are whole of their children going to school. You understand? And I never eat them. So parents have a lot to do with children. Real and talk. My real talk. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, my darling. Yeah. All right, keep it locked. Um, you okay. know what she said that I go back to the box for a bit, um, Cassidy. As she said that I remember <clears throat> um some kids. I, I heard a story of some kids who were living in the inner city and their parent, their mom, a single mom. And she would train them a certain way that they wouldn't go out on the street and do certain things. And, you know, she, they understood what she stood for. So even when she wasn't there at home and they were home, they confessed that they actually went out on the street and played. But the community persons knew the kind of mom that she was. So whenever she was coming, there was always somebody to call them, their attention to say, hey, Miss so and so coming on the road, and they would dash going like they were hurt on the road actually <laughs> playing. But because they know what is expected of them, despite them going against it sometimes, they still would try to live up because mm -hmm. the mother was instilling certain things in them. Uh, caller on the four five three, go right ahead, turn your radio off, please. Hello, good yeah. night, caller. My radio is on. Yes, you're on. You're on air. Oh no, yes, I turned my radio off. Oh. All right, so I got a feedback, but you can go ahead now. All right, um, the lady said that um, you could talk to children back then. You know, everything spoiled up because we no longer use a village to raise a child. Right, right. And even teachers at school, when I speak to parents, I tell them, be careful how you speak to our children. And they come over and say, teacher, the son, so because children are sensible. Mm -hmm. And so when I tell a woman, I teacher the sauce, they say, well, I don't teach her that. Oh, she can't talk. Oh, no, no. 
when that child go back to school, oh yeah, that can't talk to that child again. Yeah, because you have empowered that child now to go back to school or go to teacher. Mm -hmm. I cringe at the idea. There are a lot of times when I see parents come and say, "Boy, I tell you the truth, I can't manage my daughter. I can't manage her whole." 13, 14, 15. It's clear I'm not sitting in the line of pressure for reason all these things. Uh -huh. I have three children. And I, it ain't no secret that I, 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 I didn't have a father around them. Mm -hmm. My son is, I mean, if I'm not 16, 10, I have mm -hmm. to look up on him. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, if I call my child, you see, you see what we have done wrong is that we, we spoil the children. Yes, from a tender age. They're growing up. Yep. So we start off by they want something and they cry and we say, all right, all right, eh. So we start from a tender age to let them mm -hmm. know that it is their way. Yep, or the highway. Mm -hmm. Or the highway. And so when we spoil them at five, six, seven, yep. or a picnic, and then cuss one bottle, then lick it, and he said, And then laugh. Yeah. And then laugh. Or, or video it. Or video it. Yeah. That is, and send out. And so we have empowered these children to show them that misbehavior is a way to go and it's cute. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. I don't care what anybody wants to see. You must grow your child from it. he or she is small. Direct yes. them in the past. I'm yes. not saying that if you do so, then... It, they, they, they're not, they are, there are times that they will still work out. But I can tell you, Cleo, my son is 27, my daughter is 36, and Antoine is 15. And if I say, Antoine, yes, Taj, yes, Marsha, yes, I not stop calling him till I say, yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. They can't answer me, yes. I remember when, for the joke of it, because you see, children are funny, you know. Children, what their, their, their friend and company, the feet say, well, you know, me and in the same league. Yeah. And I remember, I love to, to convert with my children. Me used to beat them, you know, me stop, me talk to them. And I remember Taj came home when Taj was in sixth form at Teachville. Before I reached sixth form, about quarter or fifth form. And he said, Mommy, come to jump over school at my time and kiss him. I'm really like, you know, cute no more, kind of want nobody to see Mommy and kiss him. <laughs> and he said to me, um, Mommy, me, me have to call you, Mommy. Okay, cool. <clears throat> what do you want to call me? As I realize now, say, if I, if I get big now, so the mummy sound like, you know, you know, you know it's feminine. <laughs> if, if, if my girl, if I say, mummy, mummy. So if I quit talking, you want to call me? You want to call me Del Rose? <laughs> <laughs> you want to call me Angel? No. If you want to call me Miss Green? He said, no. He said, no, I left. I only mummy left. So <laughs> choose to call me mum. Now, let me tell you what happened. He's now 27. I got university to go look for him. He climbed out to the car window and hug me up and kiss me because that part time has passed. Mm -hmm. We spoil our children, Cleo. How we spoil, we pity them. And yep. we, we take with time and take the time to them broke out from we know. Because what? And we don't punish our children, you know. Children do something wrong. And yet still, the next day you come, they get the biggest Nike and the biggest tablet. What happened to punishment? What happened to Look here, DG. I remember hearing parents uh, at six years old, a child telling the parent what shoes they want to wear to school, and they just go and wherever they must get the umpteen thousands of dollars from to buy that shoe, they are buying it. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying not to buy nice things for your kids, but your child at six years old can't be dictating what kind of shoes he want. It's the kind of shoes you can afford. If you can afford the type of shoes he wants, by all means, you buy it. But if you can't afford it, you're going to walk big and teeth just to get it, uh, to give him? No, no, no. Mm -mm. So now that the, th the, the thing, and, and I'm going to say this now unapologetically. They say if America sneeze, Jamaica catch your cold. Let me tell you something. This is since you take up this America style something about Children must not be punished. Mm -hmm. Remember, there is something get out of hand. Yep. And I'm not saying that as a police, I'm not saying that you must abuse your children. Nobody said DG said. But I can tell you 
that since we stopped, the, the, the power has been taken out of our hand that we can't punish our children. Mm -hmm. The thing get out of hand because yep. if you pick the box and you have to hold the box. Eh? Eh? DJ, remember me tell you, man. You hold the box and you can't you report it to the, the, the police. And you say, but if you're boxing, I can't want wheel coming and see us and in come a station. But you see, I feel arrested for assault will be um Yeah, it, it comes back now again to the training because there are some children who just know say, no matter how my mother a rant and rage and a go on, I can't even respond or I can't even touch her. Exactly. You understand? I wouldn't even dare even answer my father because me know say the father with me have. So and so and so and so. I can't even. In my head, me a cuss her out daylight. And in my mind, me a say, Chum, me can't bother with a man, you know, man. But you never dare open your mouth and say certain things because, trust me, you know it might reach you. Okay, my mother grown me. My father was a drunkard. My mother was a handicap. And when my mother beat me, we can't run. When my mother fling anything, you know, me tell her something. If you, if you grow in the corner of the house, there's something growing there with you. <laughs> my mother hands straight like arrow. I remember there's a way until at night time when we done. When we do something hard, day we get trouble. When we when we done, I'm being at night time and I come in naked. At that time we get it, you know. Mhm. Mm I mean, so we get it good, good. Remember the no no argument, no long argument to do, you know. True, me, true. When I spring up, me come like a boy, pity me a tomboy. Me never like used to like wash plate. Me we chop down yard and chop up and do everything that the boy pity them do. And I remember one day, me and my brother, that time my sister, a baby, me and my brother play. But the house, whatever they need, they play, play, play. And my mom cook breakfast and we eat. And we run down and play again. And we do And I say, Mama, see for two clean spots in the yard. Clean, clean, clean spots. But Mama, how are you doing this? Uh, Mama, I say, I'm a girl. I share your brother food right here so I can have a clean plate in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how me grow. People say, boy, Angel is tricky. Let me tell you something. I grow from a background that you couldn't say but in front of my mother. I never know the wrong, wrong of the word but. But did a bad one in my mother's years. Uh -huh. lie? I couldn't tell my brother, you're too liar. Liar did bad one in my house, you know? <laughs> you couldn't say but, you couldn't say liar. You think that my mother could have talked to you and make up all your fears? I miss the children now, may I tell it clear. Mm -hmm. You don't understand, and I love this program tonight, because you don't understand the extent of what parents are going through with children. Children literally are beat, beat, beat them parents. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, I think about them out. Yep. I, 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 Amanda, the day, finally, Amanda, um, have, a, have, a, have a daughter. The daughter was about 15 going into 16. The man was arrested that day. You know why? Mm. Because he has about five to six of them. And the mother run again and left them. And mm. he tell a 16 year old or 15 year old to make some um, because stuff give the little one them. And when he go a bush and tie out goat and come back and come all about. Not no do. 11, 12 o'clock at night, he said, oh no, he did. And I, no, my sister. If, when he coming back, he have to look something get him and he sit down and wait for the little woman. Because a little woman that, and mm -hmm. she took after 12. So she didn't have her business to go deal with. And he dropped a lip on her. He was in jail. Mm -mm. He was locked up. Mm. And so I'm saying that it, things and time have changed. So listen, I'm not saying anybody must abuse your child. Because it is now the law that you cannot and you must not. But I'm saying, start from them young. Clear the days when we, when, when we were in a crowd and do anything. And a lot of persons out there can relate to it. We mother used to just look for you know one look, you know. Mm -hmm. And the one look, you know, say, you mean, say, behave yourself, fix up whatever you're doing, stop it now. If you look for a pit, you know, they're asking, I call the help for Help me for Awa. Awa. Yeah. And we chip to, they will chip to a bad word, tell you too. Exactly. Yeah. The uh, um, man, the man, you see them in a studio where like him cute. <laughs> yeah, the mother talk to him. Me and the mother talk about him. Me and tell her something. Say, now make that rule strong and I'm going like him cute. He mother just kill it with lick. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, DJ. Yes. Let me ask a question. Do you think um the legislators have made a mistake? Definitely. I think they have. Definitely. Um, I think they have. 
could, 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 could we start to lobby then? Because it must can be reversed. Because we must recognize that it has it is failing, you know. And uh, and and as a result of that, in my opinion, we are failing our kids. Yes. Because if 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 what is happening now, they are behaving this way. The generation next. Mm. God forbid. Right? God, yeah. It's going to be worse. Yes. It's, I, a, I it's an inevitability. And it is caused by us presently, the legislators presently, not acting fast enough. Because with, with, with the advent of technology, you know, it exposes us to things that we are actually not prepared for. Mm -hmm. Right? And if we call a spade a spade, when you, call, when you talk about a first world country versus a, versus a third world country, it means that they are advanced in many ways than us in terms of even the very things that they do. Is, that's the norm. It is taboo mm -hmm. to us. So we never prepare for the introduction. In my opinion, social media has this positive but more negative yes yeah yep. more negative Influence than ever children, yeah. and we're talking about we are prosecute people if you look at the people who create some of them something here yes. <laughs> right yeah. who are damaging damaging the lives of people significantly and all the people now look and say oh you know what no we can in touch with what's happening around the world you have news, you have Al Jazeera. But the way how things are being done now, the irresponsible use of social media, a lot of parents gave up their responsibility yep. parents, to supervise yeah. their child because when them depend on them tablet, mm -hmm. right? Them pick the song on one corner. And you don't hear a word out of them. And you don't hear a word out of them. Yeah. yeah. You have a thing when you're ticking. A lot of people don't know what ticking is. We have a thing when they're ticking. I learned, say, when kids are too much into watching certain, not, not say watching certain, but the whole, what them say now? Like watching the, the, the tablet and them something there, mm. it affect them in that way. People have to look up ticking and see what it, what it is. I was looking it up, but I, I wasn't finding that part that speaks to social media being linked to it, but they are saying that it does. Yep, it sure does. Right? Sure does. So we have a look on them something to the, the health aspect of it. Yeah. Right? I see where right now, if enough parents not really make a move and we try to reverse certain things, and we have to stop talking about abuse, that's relative. <laughs> we have to cut out that crap about abuse your child. It's relative. When the people tell you about your parts, they might abuse you too. Yeah. Okay. So what are you supposed to do? So as lap him, can him out, lip. the same way how we are, you, you see, as I say, you know, we, we are spending time, I protect so many things. Yeah. And I miss the essence of how they were created originally by our forefathers. Yeah. Mm. Because some regulation never made no sense, you touch it none at all. Somebody picked the guy foreign and hear the, 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 and hear their friend I stamp, the I stamp them yeah. foot and get in a tantrum and say, you know, say, in America, in, in, in America, you, 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 um, my mother can't say, so my mother can't that. And then come back and say, boy, daddy, you know, say, so and so forth and be act out a certain way. And, but how come when I was at so and so's house, they could do that, they could do that. Mm -hmm. And some smart fellow decides that they're going to make certain regulation, re regulatory changes. Look here, we don't have to be like our neighbors. No. And what's the rush at being like them? What, what's, what's the importance of that so much? Right. We don't have to be like them. Back, back, back in the days, Pitney, 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 Bad and them fly them down, come to Jamaica, beat them and I'm on Monday. Yeah, send, and you send them right back up. And, and go okay. back. Okay. Right. Uh, and, and what may I say now? The Pitney Ratney. And a Ratney, the Pitney Ratney. But now them are youth and nowadays, you know, the way them behave even to them parents in a crowd. Yeah, man. You have to wonder. Because they know, they know that you can't do them nothing. Literally, you cannot do them anything. Hmm. You're not, you can't do them. Oh, boy. Listen, 
We have to look for the thing, brother. But we have a roll here because we have about two more sets to touch. <laughs> yeah, man. Bless. All right, my All darling. Right. Thank you so much. Donald says, Europe and North America is using money, tran money to threaten third world countries into their dirty habits. Oh, I believe you. Children are not adults, and we should grow them accordingly. Daddy Rude, you are more than right. We need to be like our parents of old. Let me tell you something. Um, let, me you, let me tell you something. Me, thank you, Donald. If I forgot jail, prison, family, anyone who wants to send me, anytime my two people feel that they are going to rank with me, <laughs> me can tell you the same way. What DJ said, Mommy used to do at the same way. Really? I saw me learn it. I saw you learn it. Exactly. I saw my mother learn it. So I, I saw know, me learn it. I don't it. know how the system expects us right? to learn it a certain way. Oh, me fit unlearn. Me not unlearn that. Pitney bright and rank, you, you deal with them all bright and ranking people for the, you um, forget deal with. Real talk. You can't pit. Yo, let me tell you something, man. Me see some pitney embarrass them parents out of the road. They say, man, as God live at me, shame for them woman and the papa. Oh, yes. Caller on the fourth nine five four. Good night, caller. Welcome back. Hello. Yes, Claire. Yes, Marvin. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. Pertaining to what DJ was saying on that road, you know, a perfect example of that. Um. I was. I have working with this per, with this lady, and she so her son is working there too. And I don't know what the guy and the girl had. Him and the girlfriend had. But the girlfriend came behind there, grabbed her phone, and she pushed him, and she walked out. Mm -hmm. So he looked a bit upset. So I went back there, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he was like, oh, my mom always did my business, man. I can't stand that. And he called her the B word, and he called her the age word. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him, and I said, and I said to myself, boy, you know, if you, if you, would, if you was ever in Jamaica, you call your mother that, you know, that mother lick you like it's near your, right to your face. Mm. You understand? Like, being here in America, I realize a lot of these kids over here, they don't realize the, the opportunities they have and they talk to their parents any and any kind of way. Mm -hmm. You know, they sneak, they're sneaking out with their friends and, oh, they want to do this because I'm friend doing it and thinking it's all cool. I'm like, if you guys would ever go to Jamaica and, 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 and see, oh, we down there, you know, we used to go to school. We never had no lunch money with the, the no no shoes to go to school, but we still have to go to school. Yep. You understand? Like, I seen a I, lot, I, 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 I mean, not saying Jamaican kids don't do this, Jamaican don't do the same thing. You understand? Yeah. But, it, I don't know, to, the, the whole disrespectful thing and the whole social media thing and on Facebook with money and flossing and all that extra stuff like that. Marvin. All of them stop the, Yeah. Let me show you something. Enough, enough youth. Enough youth left from primary school and going to high school just recently. I mean, can't tell you, say, some transitional, well, some, some, some changes were going mm. on. We are shocked parents right now. Our kids are get, are, are get caught up in a social media group changing names in a them oh, phone yes. um posting certain boy statuses. boy name a female name right boy a female name and them something there. because in a them group where them communicate and who oh, and who oh, there and them now call and say boyfriend and girlfriend uh, the man, man. Ma yeah right me talk pitney were just left primary school you know gone to high school now oh yes zane a mix up yeah. in a them little dirty something there because you have one next corrupt picnic from my next environment. Let me tell you something, brother. The water, murky. But some people coming out and it now contaminated. Oh, yes. And that's what we understand yeah, what I go on as parents. Oh, you have your picnic as socializing. Because socialize, guess what now, Zane? Yes. The social media has caused people to become antisocial with their neighbor. <laughs> I noticed something. Really 1130 tough. Road Boy, we'll soon come back here. Time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio, Sage and Lighting. We soon come.
Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Uh-huh. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. These kids know ideas. They don't have no behavior. They don't regard their parents. First time when we are grown, we couldn't behave so volatile. We couldn't behave so. But they might pick me up. They expose. They watch this. They watch that. They have too much things. And they see too much things. So guess what? They can't make it no better. Life now be no better for them. Because the society, the society and the whole where they are grow up, you know, it is so bad and so blameless. And there are so many things they might do. So many things. And that the teacher can school them. Parents can school them. Who can deal with them? Nobody. No. Um, the, the worst part about it, um, they might tell you they might go call this for you. And whether you are, whether you are Jamaica, it didn't happen anyway. No. We, 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 we la come in and I tell you, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. First time it was only here. And kids in Jamaica were better grown up and brought up. But when you look now and see how much Jamaica can pick in it, they lick down their parents. You see, say, it everywhere. So social media, one of the big factor in messing up the map to do what they speak, they don't have no manners. We can't tell you, none of them, they don't have any manners. They are different, different kids from when we were growing up real talk despite the emergence of um social media um into our lives i i, I as a parent believe that we still have control over our kids development it may not be a full control but we still have majority of control over our child's development and it all depends on us as parents you know uh, some parents believe that as in kids reach five year old and if you have a cell phone do they really need a cell phone not necessarily or you know the kids reach a younger age even though two three kids that get tablet do they really need a tablet right now at that age maybe not maybe they can do just like what we used to do back in the day go to do 
will play with dirt, gravel, and everything. But as some parents do give um, social media full control over their child's development by introducing it to them at an early stage. So as a parent, I fully believe that I still can have full control over my child development with some social media too, at, um, introduced to them at a certain age or giving them the opportunity to use social media at a certain age with, with you know, with some guidance. Now, it, you know, we, we can't blame social media for our kids' vulnerability to predators. Because I know to the predators exist. Predators exist a long time. Then they in our own home, they in our own family, then they are church, then they, they in our neighborhood, you know. Predators they all over. So I, I personally wouldn't blame the, you know, blame social media for you know my kids' vulnerability. It's 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 more than social media. It's something predators are are always around. They are always around. Social media just create more of uh, a, a platform for more of them to be available. But if we teach with kids certain skills and monitor as parents what our kids do, sometimes we can help to protect our kids from the vulnerability of predators. And, you know, when we talk about millennials, I, I, I do believe that millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence than some of the older generation. However, some of the, the due to social media and you know all the things around available for millennials some of them are there's an advantage to them some there's a disadvantage you know even though i believe that millennial kids are more advanced in thoughts and intelligence i do believe that some of them lack you know being able to be street smart they lack of the ability to think outside of the box and a lack of sense when there's no internet and wi-fi you know to small day some kids, no matter how young they are, even teenagers or even early 20s, when there's no internet or Wi-Fi, they go crazy. They don't know if they don't know how to manage, you know. So when I look at it, they are more advanced, but yet still we have, we do have an advantage. And of course, I I believe that they should get the same general, generational freedom as we have enjoyed. Why not? And as individuals, we can also share some of our wisdom with them them because these millennials even though they are so advanced in so many different things and they're diverse and and they have so much to offer i do believe that they still need some of the all-time training skills knowledge and wisdom real talk um thanks for those wow interesting um, views um box pop once more parental guidance versus generation gap and um, based on the influence of social media, do you believe that the parents still have full control of their children's development? Or is it really a lost battle? Are they trying but they no longer have the grip? Yeah? Why, what, who do you think is to be blamed for the exposure of kids' vulnerability to predators? Well, that's something I want to and know. just before we go to that part, there's a comment that we wanted to read. Let me read the last part first. Do you believe millennial kids, do you think millennial kids are more advanced in their th in thoughts and intelligence and should be allowed the generational freedom their predecessors enjoyed? Let's quickly go to the text messages before we hear the view on... Mm -hmm. Part two. Good night, caller. Yeah, man. Ah, you're gonna lose yeah, your. Yeah, man. The real internal. But listen. There's a hold on, Donald. There's a feedback. There's a squeak and a feedback. I'm hearing myself in your. You're hearing me now, better. I'm hearing you clearly, but I was actually hearing All myself right. at one point. You're getting feedback now. No. Okay. All yeah. right. Let me say, I, I listened to the box of those ladies talking. Why is that we never had a gentleman talking? Well, yeah, speak, that, speak, sir. Daddy Rude has spoken. Well, I can't tell yeah, you that. Daddy, Rude, Daddy Rude is perfect, man. Real good. <laughs> Real nice gentleman. Yes, yes, I'll tell you something, Daddy Rude. I had a conversation the other night with a young lady that I liked, is it? <laughs> and she's not a university graduate. <laughs> she's a hustler. Yeah. And um, I hustle that I appreciate the way that she hustled. Uh -huh. And she make her money and she not really. But here's how she, she came across. 
her son just passed to go into high school. And she had said to me, he said, he wanted a clock. Mm-hmm. That's and she'd have to find the $18,000 to go buy it. Yes, that's how they behave. And, and he wanted um, tablets. And he wanted um, laptop. And he wanted all the things. The 13 year old, you know. I tell him, mother, everything I want as a hustler. And she feel good within herself that her friends in America came to her rescue and said, everything we want, come get. He even wanted an iPhone. And I said to her, listen to me, man. I grew up seven years of them. And none of them couldn't get no phone when I'm a five-year-old. <laughs> none of them couldn't get no phone when I'm even 12-year-old. You understand? Their mother might want to change the aspect of things to go buy certain things to them. Mm-hmm. But them father not give them none of them things there. Mm-hmm. You see, man? And who oh, I'm back, back. <laughs> you must know how to grow your child to realize that certain things. You think my son could have looked at me and said, I want a clock. He wear the shoes when me buy him. That's right. He wear the shoes when me want him to wear. You understand? If he wants a tablet, I say, government now talk about them, I do a tablet in school. You know why they do it? They want the entire workforce to turn to them, man. So they can't pay them $7,500 a week, and that the minimum wage is no raise. I have enough people where I can't pay that, so they can't snipe off the rest of the money. You see what I say? <laughs> yeah, you have to know how to grow your children and grow them. My, my, my nephew frowns on me. Because I tell him, say, yo, you go through the gate, lock it, no man. Mm-mm. You go through the grill, lock it, no man. Them don't know them thing that. Nope, nope. You, you don't have water, running water in the house, you know, that is sad in Portland, you know. We don't have running water. But how can you go into the kitchen and take up something that you're using to catch water and use it flush the toilet? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. them not learn, them not have them that sense of things that millennium kids, yo, them want me and daddy road to deal with them as them. That me talk about. You see me? Yeah, man. Tell you. I no tell respect. You. Cool. Respect every time, yes, Donald. Solid, solid words. And, 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 and I believe that, I mean, I'm from the old school. I am from the old school. And the students I've taught over the years can tell you that. At the same time, at the same time, I rap with my kids, I interact with them, we socialize, we have fun together. But the picnic them know the standards that you set and what mm-hmm. you stand for. So it's not that you can't relate to your kids and have fun with your kids. But I believe before you, I, beca- I can become your well, friend clear, and your mother. But, but and the, your mother you hear what I think now, man? We, 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 are, we are take this thing out of context. So me, big man a big man and boy a boy. That's right. See? I have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Yes, um, quickly, the caller that just hung up, I, I loved what he said. But I want to just quickly say something about clocks. I learned something that is good from my, 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 my 26-year-old son. I used to buy one shoes every three months for him. They cut them come like paper, for them mash up. And he said to me, honestly, buy, buy it's the bottom tier of the stick to the... And he said, mommy, can I buy a clock? I said, you're mad. He said, mommy, the time you buy three shoes, four thousand dollars each. But if you buy three, if you buy a clock, it has served me. And you know, so one day, every time I build it at the road, I buy a clock. And we can tell you, up to this minute, you still have the clock. <laughs> that is true, yeah. but but yeah. but here what here, here what happened now? Mm-hmm. You see when they pit in them at eleven years old and twelve and thirteen when their foot slag grow? No, that's yeah. true. They don't forget no clocks. Real yeah, time. I mean I agree with you. But me just say sure say you know I, I Yeah man, it, 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 it economically it will work out better, you know. Yes. But yes. you see some of the time I know this I know the serve belong thing them I look upon at the floss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. No for them forget some booger. You remember booger? Yes, man. A booga then forget. You see, they have one for your, your, your status long and long, long time. And if I want to, your father, they buy for you, but... You see, I want one at a time, as your profile picture of a long, long one, booga. A booga. Let's hear. Yes, up yourself. Um, m- m- Ra- m- Lady Grace says, um, it's true 
how you raise your children. It's truly how you raise your children. I agree with DG. I have lots of stories. Calling each other stupid fool, etc. was a bad word in my house. My daughter got off work today and called to find out the time I would be leaving for work. Would you believe she came by just to see me, to hug me and tell me she loves me? Really sweet. Simple. Really sweet. Uh, we have a caller online again. Hello, caller. Good night. Yeah, man. Good night. Yes, sir. Who are you? I, I'm Cleo. Or are you? Oh, how? Okay, I heard who. Um, I'm yeah. good, thank you. <laughs> how are you, sir? Yeah, I'm not too bad, you know. You have children, um, Bright Yai? Yeah, man, I got two girls, yeah. How old are they? Um, 19, 20. So do you believe in just when they were growing up, you know, did you, were you one of those fathers who gave them anything they wanted? No, repeat. Were you one of those fathers who, when they were growing up, anything them said they want, you just no, man, give it no, and... No. You're, no, you're one of the strict fathers? Yes. But you know, the right now, what me they know, me they know, when you're ready there, so me just I call you out of the blue, you know? Yes. You understand me? So thank you for letting me know what I'm going on. Yes, man. And um, before me, me, me forget now, I have got my friend Danny, the upholstery man for last week. Yes. He said, I'm him, him ready to come off a style, you know? Mm-hmm. Big up, Danny. Big up yourself. So last week, he did it, and he said, I'm going to take him up all the way, but he forgot last week, so he did a crucify me, you know? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, man, so big up, Danny, the upholstery man, the man he dread, I listen right you now. Danny, big up yourself. Yeah, man, the upholstery man from Warner Street, the Fort Mara. Oh. Yeah, all man. right. Upholstery man. Yeah, man, make yeah, city and, and rap and cheer and all these know? things, yes. Yeah, man, but... Yeah, man, we have to make two girls. Um, mm-hmm. If like, me don't give them, if they, if they say daddy this and daddy they want that. We give them what we can give them. Yes. You understand me? I know what them say them want. Right. You understand me? Because, you know, say, one I tell you, know, me, I tell you, say, you know, me, do one of them from what is a board, you know. I lick him till when he got cold, he couldn't write, you know. Hey, But that sounds like abuse, <laughs> man. When he went to school, I don't think the guidance counselor I would tell me is uh, abuse, and if me know that, I can be get arrested. Yes, you can be get arrested for you. So me ask the guidance counselor, say, if if um she tell you what to do, what lead to this? Yes. You know the guidance counselor tell me that's why the picture them see so. If they in a business, what well, what to do? In business with the lick when we gave her that call his phone to her hand. Yes. Phone to her hand. Yes. And I said, I don't have a problem to come and make a report. I don't have a problem you go make a report against me to the police so long as I don't touch up and no way part a private body. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> then I let me lick him for discipline her. Make you know her herself. Make you know why I'm me and the father. Mm-hmm. And me run things. What should do right here? What, what, what did she do? All right, me did me a rope on my car, you know. Girl, where any where me, me make process, she's not hungry, she's not hungry. Give her a good look of lot of money at the time. Me give her one three thousand dollars every Saturday. And you know a girl, you want you look unnecessary. Yes. Me see a five hundred dollars here every day uh, as a compulsory saving. Oh. And me I work on my car. And me tell the girl, say, go and fry one egg to me. Put it on two slices of bread. Miss look on the man here, can't come give me. And the girl asked me, say, if me and then cripple. <laughs> no, Father God. They hold tight, you see? Yes. Yeah. yes. Ask me if me and then cripple. True. So you know I'm not clear. Mm-hmm. Make sure I say me and then not do what? <laughs> Look at them right, yeah. But you want to sleep, but you wake me up and swear. You know what I'm saying? You're the, you're the guidance counselor. Say to me. Are you me? Yes. You're the guidance counselor. Say to me. If we can find another 
way of disciplining her from licking her. Yes. So I say, what do you mean by find another way? If they, if she said you want to go somewhere, don't send her. Don't send her. Yes. If she said you want something, say bye. Don't give her no money. <laughs> I'm gonna say, me hear your guidance counselor, but hear me now. The only way me have to discipline it, he put on some lick. That's the only. Old school? That's the only discipline. That means I'm gonna adjust myself to she. Mm -hmm. And she, if you adjust, fear herself to you. Yeah, I said to all. Oh, <laughs> but bright eye. Yeah. You know, sir. Nice simple. You know, sir. So when the guidance counselor and the way or the thing I go right now is really for I teach your kids to sell out them one another. If you can't, yeah. you only can farm because you're not getting what you want, and if you don't get what you want, so people can control you with things. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You won't get the tablet if you so and so. If you get low grades, you're not going to America and all them something there. Right? You're not yeah. tell you, 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 them not show if you teach them the right way. So, you listen to me. You're not know, for face yourself. Yeah. It's negative reinforcement. Mm -hmm. they call I'm it. good, boss. Thank you very much. I but, respect him. But, I respect him. I'm manners. I'm manners. Really? Simple. I agree. But, but you know, Bright Eye, my take though, my only spin to this is. You, you, while it is ironic that you're sure that you're and no cripple and you almost crippled hers in the process, that part of it now is where I can have a drawback because how about clapping her on her rear? Where, where look of flesh today to hold the lick them because you don't really want a bone broke still enough. So you find say, the finger part now and the hand part now, you have to, you have to use wisdom when you're clapping them too because hitting on the fingers could cause damage to the point where she can't write. So, you see, round at the rear, they saw, me believe, say, when you put it on, pan, they saw, the only thing they make you do feel like one is sit down too long. <laughs> you don't lie, though. <laughs> but, but you have to be careful so that you don't break, break rather, any bones that are necessary to function effectively in school. That's my only drawback. But guess what? Put on too lick, does ne never really hurts. That never make what? Repeat that. No, repeat what you said. No, I said putting on the strap, in my view as a parent, is, is important. If yeah. needs be. But I'm saying you have to also use wisdom when you're clapping. So that in the case of the hand being damaged or the fingers, you don't want to use something and clap. And where you're clapping can cause the child to become hurt. To the point where they can't function as they should. So in school, for example, if you hit her on the hands, for example, with a piece of board or whatever you're going to use, and the fingers become sprained or damaged, she can't write a school. So you don't want that. But what you want is, fair if you know, so you are the father, you run things, you put on the leg, on the fleshy part of the body. So she can have that down, hold it. And every time she touch on her, so she remember the two clappers she get on it. Simple. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, because me, 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 me with this girl, you know, I'm in the yard, you know, and the girl are cooking, you know. Mm. And the girl must run out of some, something what you need to put on the pot. So I have a 13-year-old daughter. Come here, come go on the road, they go buy something for me. The girl is on her phone. Tell her mother, say, you go. Because when I do my phone, it's very important that way you want to put on the pot. Hmm. Oh. Can you believe that? Yeah. Why are they rotten, man? They're rotten. And, and I want to tell you, say, get the mother now. All right, you're not go. What I want to see? What I don't want to see? What are you going to eat? Mm hmm. And you know who first get dinner out of the pot? Oh. You pick me. Out of my pot? <laughs> not my pot. And you pick me first get dinner out of the pot? Not my pot. You understand me? So hold on, I, 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 I will go buy this something for your part. I'm going to tell you the mother, sir. I'm going to deal with the mother, you know. I'm going to raise my voice for the mother, I'm going to pick me. Because what kind of way is this? You are training the girl. 
when me they were among my mother, my mother called me and said, go do this, go do this. We can't make him stay that second time, you know. Mm. You know what I mean? Me can't make him call me a second time. For, you know, my mother, she's an a inspector, you know. A, 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 she has two now, them telling she she's an inspector. And she has one belt, you know, they call it belt, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you have belt, you have a black belt. When did you give me one? Me no one, two. Me no one, what? Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, man. Oh, God. So, uh, the parents, them, man, you understand me? Them say, grow the, the youth, them in the right and proper way, and don't make the youth, them. Run their head. Run in no head. Real talk. All right, so, bright side. Daddy, you know. You. <laughs> Give thanks, brother. I don't have right time now, crying now, putting on the sky, they fall on my eye. What you go watch with me, the girl just buy. Show me, I tell her, I'm not telling her lie. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bright <laughs> eye. <laughs> Big up. Oh boy. Always something to listen to from Bright Eye. DG says they didn't laugh. All that Bright Eye. Lisa gone because she had no kids to say. Donald says Europe and North America are using money to threaten. Two. Okay, we got that one earlier. Um, mm. Yes. All right. Um, to, to all the topics. To, to all the topics. I see. We might have to continue. Yes. To um, continue definitely. Yeah, man. We have to continue this um, one. Alicia Straight in Los Angeles, California. Hey, how you doing? Uh, it, um, we know I'm going further because you said a vulnerable one day. Yeah. That's something we want to talk about. Serious, serious, serious. Because there are a number of things. You know, in terms of the exposure of kids' vulnerability yes, to predators. Yes, yes, yes. That's a where, whole, that's a whole yeah, man, discussion. Yeah, man, by itself. And, and, and um, even whether we are losing battle or not in the first part, that's all. You know. Uh, honestly, generally speaking, before we close out in the next three minutes, I for the, for that part of it, in my view, um, if we continue along the way that we're going, I think we we are pretty much on the road to losing the battle. Yeah, man, I will ask man. Seriously, because I've heard stories. Let me show you something. I've, I've seen stories. You see, you, see, you, you see right now, even the level, of, even the way to which um, kids are exposed mm -hmm. to, um, to, what would I call it now? To sex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, normal, man. I he I've heard sto of stories where little babies have the phones. And they're looking at porn yeah. on the phones. And I'm like, how, how would a six-year-old get a phone with porn on it to begin with? Listen, Missy, my daughter come to me already about the boy, oh, um, if, she, um, if she can get a phone. So I said to her, I said, boy, why your school have phone? Mm -hmm. Right? Because me know so right away from she come to me with that as somebody else I come to him um uh, or she says some other kid with phone. Hmm. Right now phone teacher phone I won't get you we call a teacher, you know. <laughs> Simple. Teacher and, phone. And, and the funniest thing about it, they might not have the teacher's number, but then they give the child a phone and they're calling the child's phone while the child's in class and you're teaching. And they don't call you and say, teacher. You mean parents do that? Yes. They don't call you and say, miss, I have an issue here. And, or send a letter in to say, you know, I'm going to be inviting, asking the child to leave school next time. But because what, whatever, whatever. They're not corresponding with you. And I've seen children, to be honest, I've seen children in class, the phone vibrate and they're going in the pocket. And they look on the, I say, excuse me, who's calling you? I don't know. I say, put it away. Just put it away. You never even go find who I call you. Cause you're in a class now. Teach me and teach. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it has gone such a place. And I know they say they want to communicate with the child and whatever. But at the same time, when? at the same time, if the picnic understands, say, look, when school over, me have to reach my yard by a certain time. No questions asked. They're going to get there. Caller, you have a minute to speak. Go right ahead. Yeah. Parents, they are aware. The children them open the tablets and the phones and doing homework. But while you are not looking, it's two screen open. So uh -huh. the porn. So when you come, they switch to the homework and <laughs> back to the switch back to the porn. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, outsmarting the parents, eh? 
Worse the ones who are not tech savvy. Oh boy, I tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, to be continued, you know, because guess what? This topic, we have not dissected it enough. True. We have not synthesized, right? Assemble, reassemble it together or reassemble it at all. So guess what? Next week, we will take the other parts of this Vox Pop and give you a whole lot more on real talk because this issue of the children, trust me, Three quarter people who call this show have children, whether grown or otherwise, and they have the stories to share with those who are young parents who are, you know, parents now rearing and raising children. So something can be said that will educate and to help you to make it better. For some people, it's gone too far. For some, it's not yet gone. So you can still mend and bend that tree in the way you should go. My final word is that, listen... When you spoil your picnic them, expect them to put you to shame. Real expect talk. them to go downhill. Because trust me, the Bible, the good look book, yeah, don't spoil the child and save that rod. That's my take. You're not going to kill them. You're not going to hurt them to the point where you're going to damage and break bones. But if you understand themselves, and as daddy would say, you know, boy a boy, man a man. You know, one, of the, you know, one of the things too, when you look and say, you see all them creators of this technology, when you look and feel them background, you know, mm -hmm. yep. if they are responsible people, because none of the things them where they are creating you know, is just for economical gain. Yep. You yep. have nothing, yep. nothing for do. do it in the morals and, nah, and value systems. Yeah, real talk. Guys, we're out of time. We, we, we thank you for indulging in this very deep and profound conversation tonight big up all our whatsapp peeps who have been texting in all night those who stuck with us to the end those who had to go we love your same way we want to say thank you for being on board and on behalf of our engineer cassidy and my co-host daddy rude pretty much who was ul jackson tonight yes <laughs> uh, we say bye bye enjoy the weekend have a great one. Be safe. Live good. Share with somebody who 